What's going on, everybody? I'm Raw Star, and you're listening to the Misfit Effect. And of course, I'm joined with my beautiful, wonderful, um, the the reason I get to have a lot of fun in this world, uh, co-host, the beautiful Miss Sarah Lace. Thank you. I am not the only reason you have a lot of fun in the world. I didn't say. I, I didn't say. Reason, like you have a lot of, I want to say drama, but you have a lot of kink in your life. You know. Well, mm. I mean, I, I, I have, I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a comment to say, but you know what you, you know what you've done. Exactly. But speaking of kinks, let me introduce you to the sexy little kinkster, Andy Ray. Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you guys. Nice to be so here. Miss, so, Miss Andy, uh, tell us. Tell us about yourself. Who are you? Mm -hmm. for, those, for, those, for those who have not had the opportunity to uh, be blessed with your, with, with your loveliness, who are you? Mm -hmm. Hi, that's a very good question. Um, I will basically like my 32nd elevator spiel would be I'm an adult performer who lives in Los Angeles and I, I guess I started my career camming and now I'm more uh, content focused and now I'm trying to be more mainstream focused. Cam content. Okay. Content is like my love. But um yeah, and I come from kink initially. So I've been naked on the internet since honestly, I didn't tell you guys this. I've been naked on the internet since 2011. I used Ooh. to do photo sets and cam in college, actually. So I've done it like okay. I quit. yeah, I quit and then I came back. But yeah, mm -hmm. I've been naked on I used to do photo sets for Tumblr. So yeah, I've been naked on the internet since 2011. So Tumblr, wow. I don't care I haven't heard Goodness. Trumper in a grip. Guess what? I post those on my pages. So I literally have porn of myself, literally fucking myself in the ass in 2011. So just saying. Oh my God. Before, <laughs> before Tumblr did that like uh, anti-nudity thing. Yeah, oh, and, you know, as, and as soon as they did that, their their website died. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I tried to go back as a safe for work and I said, fuck that. And I think they allow something now i think they 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 kind of took what they said back a little bit but i we all lost like the i think it, it's right. like artistic but like you know certain level of artistic like some Our people do more with it, some people don't like yeah. I, I first started the industry in 2017 was which was literally the year before yeah, Tumblr did that. yeah yeah yeah. It was right before Tumblr did that. So I had started off putting nudes on Twitter and Tumblr, mainly Tumblr at that in that point. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. It, it felt like less than a year in, you know, I was already getting my I had my handle on it. Like I was like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Bam, Tumblr goes. And I was like, great, what do I do now? Like, you know, I was like, just, uh oh. That's like a lot of eyes. And if you were to promote your platforms, like that is just so much, like it was very easy to grow on Tumblr. Um, exactly. I used to submit myself to blogs all the time. Like, I don't know what drove me to do it either. I was mm -hmm. just, I must spread my naked body on the internet. Like I was just driven <laughs> submitting myself to all these curvy, I think cause I gained a bunch of weight in college. So I was trying to feel confident. And so mm -hmm. as I started getting feedback that like, cause I was a lot bigger than I am now. I gained a lot of weight in college because I used to drink <laughs> and yeah it was cool to get the feedback right I mean you mm -hmm. can deny nice comments make you like I obviously there's a dopamine hit like mm -hmm. and it's, it's that, that positive reinforcement <laughs> yeah I felt like yeah. kind of showed me oh thick girls like it's like I would literally just do straight up and down like literally you know those model photos the agency mm -hmm. I would like use those Literally, I didn't even know why I was doing it. And it was just people were like, oh, you're beautiful. I'd be like, oh my God, I am. You know, mm -hmm. like, I, I, it was just, it was so nice to get that. So I think I've always been hooked on that. I mean, yeah. I have to get it, right? I have to, like, we obviously. That's right. It's like, it's a, it's a huge love language of that, you know, mm -hmm. that, that words of affirmation and that. Uh, I guess so, huh? Mm -hmm. I never thought about it like that. I'm big into love languages. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah so that. Like it did, like I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm guessing, like, if you ever took the test or whatever, so, yours is probably words of affirmation. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I've got a couple, but I mean, acts of service is nice. Uh, I don't know. I got to take a okay. I've been changing. I've been changing, right? As we grow up. <laughs> I think my, 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 my has always been um, 
time. Time. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't need anything else, but like, you know, it's a small gift. Like, I know you wake up in the morning and say, hi, Raw. Oh, hi, person. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. That's oh, all I need. Acknowledgement. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought of you. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't like to be ghosted all day and then texted, like, oh, what'd you do all day? Like, you want to be. <laughs> yeah. And, and the thing is, like, we're, it, it's not a cookie cutter score either. It's like, not we all have multiple things that we like, you know, like, you may like access service, but you may also want that time. You know, like it's not just one or the other. Like some people need a little bit of everything, you know, like we need that extra nurturing. Well, that reminds, you're saying acts of service and I can segue into like, no, I used to be a slave, like a living slave, right? Mm -hmm. Which is yes. so service oriented. So like mm -hmm. after college, I moved in with my parents for about a year and I just worked like a little crummy nine to five. And then uh, basically I ended up moving to LA to live with a guy 30 years older than me who was my master Ooh. and that one time okay I moved to LA for love it was a crazy move I was about to get fired from my job because they drug tested for smoking weed and uh I said fuck it I my intuition literally was like do it and I was like okay everyone in my life was like don't do it don't do it um, I don't know if you're into astrology, but I'm like a Sag rising and Sag moon. So I'm very like spontaneous at times. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. And I just do things. And it's always the best decision ever where I'm like drawn. Cause now it's like LA. I lived in LA for like what, 12, 13 years. And, and so I love yeah, I'm that. A, I'm into astrology and like all, all of my entire thing is earth signs. Oh. And like, and I tell everybody what I am and it's just gotta like, balance that out. It just, it just, it just, it just, it just, it just sounds like I'm super boring because, like, I'm a Capricorn. I didn't say it. I'm a Capricorn, but I'm a uh, Virgo Moon, Virgo Rising, then Capricorn Venus. Wow, <laughs> very grounded. <laughs> I'm a triple cap. I have three caps in my chart. It means you're a hard worker, though. Yeah, he is. I could attest to that. That. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. He look, he's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's all like, shy about it, but I'm like, yeah, no, he no, definitely. Yeah, but he's definitely a hard work. I'm, right? I'm, I'm a super earth. I am a super earth earther. It's mm -hmm. like you Jesus. Around Christ. people who are not like, what's your chart? You know. You so, what? I'm Aquarius. I forgot what exactly everything is, but I know my rising's Aquarius, and so is my Venus. Most of my most of the stuff I have is in Aquarius. Aquarius, and then that's a I, lot of air. Yeah, I'm very airheaded. Stuff. I'm very airheaded. <laughs> oh, my moon is Cancer, and then my oh. no. So my sun is Aquarius, and then I guess my rising is Capricorn. But See, almost that's every, where you guys get along. Yeah, but almost everything else I have is on Aquarius. See, I'm a Cancer Sun, so like I'm very, very sweet. But then I also am super fiery. So water mm. and water and fire creates steam. A girl many years ago at a dungeon told me that may, means your emotions are volatile. So it's been a work over the years, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm in my 30s now, so like I'm pretty, I'm a lot more chill than I used to be. Uh, the people who knew me back in 2017 when I started camming, I used to post some crazy shit. So. I'm, I'm I'm reformed. I'm a I'm an adult now. I promise. <laughs> I think no. I, I think because like I am so grounded and like people know what to expect from me yeah. that when 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 they do see like my uh my kink chart kink chart it's like wait what you're into what what huh no, no. you know yes. what it looks like it looks like you're a CEO of a company that works hard. And they put off this, like, I'm a hardworking person and I'm like in charge. And then behind the doors, they like to get their ass beat. Exactly. Yes. And those pretty, much like, it's it's like, pretty much it. It's sad. It like, I, I jokingly say this, but like, there is, I have, yep. I have whips in my house. Okay. And they're scattered around the house. And I'm like, scared. and like, I will say this it's a whip in my spare room. It's a whip on my like. And you open my front door. It's a whip. whip. A real whip. Oh, like a whip. Real whips. 
a real whip. A re either whips a real whip and or a uh, or a flogger. A flogger a whip. whip is one of those. It depends. So I have a. a it's are a very high skill. You can take someone's eye out. So I I have I have more floggers and whips because people don't know how what they're doing. Who is so, with you? Oh my god! So I have I have oh. one in my living in my in my spare room. It's one like it opened my my front door in my living room, the very front door, the front door, mind you. It is a whip on the arm right now, and it's for some reason it's a whip laying on my countertop that's just been there for a while, and then in one of my back porch. The only place a whip isn't in my house. It's in my room and my bathroom, of course, and in my garage. Why, of course? Because uh, there's nothing. The only thing in my room that is sex related is uh, this stuff right here. And uh, it is a random dildo somewhere like over here. Not a dildo, but yeah. a, uh, a uh, not, a not a dildo, one? but a, uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, yeah, those are those. those those uh those are in the living room right now because I was showing them somebody. Okay. No, it's a it's a, vib it's a vibrator. It's a vibrator in here. On your balls. Huh? You, uh -huh. you know that the, there's this vibrator. You put it like on your fingers, and it'll help you when you're going like fingering. For women or? It's for it's it's yeah. for it's, it's for women. Yeah. So you put it on your finger. Uh, your G spot. Yeah, it's yeah. your G spot. You just put it up here. And then you just go and it's just vibrating while you're thrusting your fingers. Squirt. I'm not mm -hmm. like a squirter, but I can squirt if it's like really stimulating. You know, that's, that's what I'm like, okay. Cause I used to have a G spot stimulate like on a stick and then it curved like this. And then there was a lump. It was like that. It was from like a pure. Oh, and it was. That reminds me of this toy I have. Oh, I want to pull it out actually. Yeah, I loved curved. I love curved dildos, curved glass dildos. Glass are my favorite. Like I have a box. Metal, metal's good too. I have a full box outside. Uh, that is just uh, sex toys that I give to people. Um, that, uh... Did you get that? So this is called the Gemini. I actually got it during a convention. Uh, I think it was two years ago in Jersey. So this is actually for, um, I guess, two female gender, basically. Two women. I'm trying to imagine. Yeah, the, I'm like, which holes? For, I'm like, wait, there's three. For cup, like, cup, lesbian couples intimacy, essentially. You put so, one in you. Yeah. The, your partner puts the other one in them. And, and then, then vibrate on your clit as you're doing it together. It's ergonomic the way it's. That's why it's shaped like that. Exactly. I so want to do that with every hot porn girl now. Exactly. So you can literally, like, you know, you can move up. You know, you can kind of like move around, and it'll still work. So even if you're thrusting or switching, moving around, it'll still stay. It won't slip out. Are you a saleswoman for that? Do you have an affiliate code? Oh my. God. <laughs> No, I just like it, but it's um. You see this, whoever you are, I'll take one, please. I'll w o slash women's only dot com. That's amazing. Woman, we'll put the link later. But like, I wanted to buy women for women that <laughs> like it. I, woman, I think this was like the first of its kind, from what I've heard. I've never I, seen anything like that in my life ever. Yeah, e even to this day, I haven't seen anything in the market like this. So, so what's it's the like, stuff? The stuff on the other side, the non the non penetration side. What is that? So this Not is actually the vibrator. Let me see if I can pull it out. With my nails, I can't. So they're actually detachable, which I can't get a grip on it right now. So you have to charge so, two different batteries then. This is what she was um, talking about. I think you just put you just put in a battery. And it's just you take them out to clean it and say, oh, I can't even pull it out. So I don't pull out. It's like a little lipstick case. It's like pull it out and then use it like a little bullet, kind of. Yeah. You can actually use the bullet on its own. It just oh, it's stuck in there. That's amazing. That is definitely created by a woman or someone with a vagina. Yeah. Like exactly. Oh. Yes. So Andy, you look at my screen right now. This is what she was talking about. I so can't tell. So there's one right here that goes like this, and that goes inside and it vibrates. This one. Whoa. This one is like oh. the same thing. And the one that fell off my finger. 
which is this one, Whoa, it, it gives a, that's it, an it, alien it, finger. It gives a little a little shot too. So you can put it on any finger, but this one goes inside. I need yeah. more toys. I will admit I do not own a lot of sex toys. I'm very behind on the sex toy market. I mostly have glass glass because they can just be they're easy to clean and last. Yeah. And I don't really use a lot of sex so, toys besides my Hitachi, like vibrators, I guess. But I showed you this and yeah. I didn't I didn't say what it was. Um this is an uh extender. So, like, if someone wow. has a very sensitive uh, tip, um, it makes the like the tip less sensitive, so they can last longer. Do they have to be cut or uncut or both? I just think I just think you spray it on the tip, and it it they removes it. some of the sensitivity. So maybe the new porn guy should do that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, like, because you know, so it won't like, come so quick. Yeah, that's all yeah. it is. I, I, I won't talk about what's happened to me recently, but y'all need to last longer, man. Fuck. Look, at this point, this is also why um, I bring Viagra with me on set. Because like, they got bricks. Shout oh, out. If they pop too quick, you know, that way they can take it, take it and be back up ready again. Or if they just are having performance anxiety, bam, they use it. Don't but, the center sell it or give it away or don't, like, I don't know if I just talk yeah. about you can cut this out, I guess. Um, but I think, but um, oh. at least what I like to do, like when I'm doing content, and I know some companies do this. If the guy pops too early, see, look here, he, ha he has the Viagra on hand. I don't have any, but I have condoms, but I only test shoot with test. I only fuck tested people, so I like this, don't. It's, oh, I don't use condoms. It's because I only. This is this is some solidophil. Yeah. Some solidophil. This is fifties. I have a hundred. And I have uh, Toledo Pill too. Yeah, so there's the, the different levels and the different types that you can have. <laughs> but yeah, I just have like the standard one. I, I don't know, the one that I got, I got it from Mexico. So it's it was real easy and cheap to buy. But yeah, I don't know. What we like to do at least is like if they if they end up coming early, for example, they if they pop in the first 10 minutes and we still need 15 minutes of footage, yeah. then the the pop shot will have it be somewhere where it doesn't mess up the makeup you know we'll we'll do a, a cream pie or something like that for the first pop right and then we'll we'll go back and um you know we'll get back into the scene for the other 15 minutes and then depending on if that guy can pop or not then that's how we decide if that cream pie or whatever will be the ending or if we'll add a second cum shot. So like, sometimes you know he's about to come. Have you like I've been making guys come very quickly lately. I I I may have you okay. ever had, I masturbate so much it must be my kegel, like the muscles. I don't know what the fuck's happening, <laughs> but um probably they would have to be like, do they just scream out like, oh I'm gonna come and then they're like, oh quick, get into cream pie position. Yeah. Like whatever was the right, yeah beforehand because it's not like oh random cream pie wait wait the hundred the extra money like you know what <laughs> no you you can also like especially if you're a seasoned like uh industry person you can kind of see in someone's face that they're close oh hell so yeah the, oh. the camera people we, like they'll look at each other and then like even the female talent will look at them and be like okay like sometimes we don't actually say oh we're they're about to pop whatever we just kind of give each other that look and it's like okay we'll just do it right here you know if for example, if I'm already in doggy and that's getting him, we'll do the cream pie and doggy and then keep it going. Really? And so it's like, yeah, yeah. So we make that look like it's the ending, and then we'll go and film the other 15 minutes. And, and if he can... might not even be in it, depending. Yeah, exactly. But that, but that's why we do it where it's not a face shot until right. the very the end. Makeup, yeah. Mm -hmm. so we you know we keep it going and if he can't pop and you know sometimes they'll end up getting flaccid towards the end because they already came once we'll end up doing it where that last 15 minutes gets thrown into the middle of the first part of the footage and then that cream pie would just be the end yeah I could there's, see that. there's always the workaround there's know? no shame right just get the footage exactly. work. like that was my thing I I shot I mean I'll say it but I shot I'm not gonna say who or what, but I shot a content scene and it was only 12 minutes and then there was no like, and I, like we agreed on like 25 to 30. I like 25, mm -hmm. 20 is a little light for me. Like I, yeah. 
25. I say it depends on what you're shooting because no, I know for a lot. Of, <laughs> well, no, no, no. Right? What, what, what I mean is like, or, I know for a, for example, like, takes forever. A, lot, a lot of the girl girls I recorded, yeah, like they been, they've been like 15 to 18 minutes, for example. Yeah. yeah. Well, girls can fuck forever, though. So that uh, I mean, yeah, but you know, you know, you can always. I feel like there's only so many positions you can do if, especially if the other person's newer, right. and you have to coach them. You're like, okay, I don't want to add another ten minutes of me coaching you. Yeah, yeah, no, I I did a four, a four girl orgy earlier, and it it was it kind of like maxed out. It was good with four because we could keep switching partners. So yeah. That, but yeah, just girl, girl, you're right. I mean, if you have a strap on, it's a little different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of people record at my house, so I've seen a lot of different things. I bet you have. Oh. Yeah. Like, and well, like, I as I say again, I have a box of sex toys that I just have here that like I give, like, if you come to my house and you're a performer, yeah, I literally just give you the box and say, take one thing out. Because I just have a box of unused stuff. And I say, please just take something out of it. And like, I jokingly say this, but someone came and took a whole, a whole sex machine before. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, where do you get all those, though? Do companies just give you free ones? Or no, what? I just get like, because I, I order something from someplace, but then they give me a whole bunch of other crap. Oh, they and do? I'm like, and, I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, I think I okay, I don't need this. Like mm -hmm. I have a lot of butt plugs in there, but I'm like I don't stick nothing up my booty hole. Like that's mm -hmm. uh, like even though I consider myself a uh, a uh, uh, very submissive, I have my nose, and one of my noses don't that's touch my booty hole. Yeah, that's <laughs> you don't have to yeah. like stuff yeah. just because you're a bottom. Yeah, mm -hmm. so exactly. that's I'm a one of minded person with sexuality. I will not ever yuck anyone's yum. So like, if but because because like I they give me so many butt plugs, I just have all these butt plugs. You know, like yeah. I for, I forget who came over here and finally took a. I had a one with a with a with a rainbow tail that someone finally oh, yeah. took. I remember that one. I yeah. have a rainbow tail. I have oh. a lot of tails. I used to wear tails all the time. I have a two hundred dollar like crystal. Like it, it was um, remnant. I won't. People don't cancel me. It was remnants of stuff that like of an animal that was. I don't know. It's real fur. It's a fucking fur foxtail. I don't even know what the. But oh yeah. Remnants and like the company goes. It's Crystal Delights. If anyone wants to research it, like. Mm -hmm. I mean, Legit. like they don't they don't do that whatever they do but yeah I have a lot of fur tails like I have a bunny tail I have a lot but yeah if you don't do butt stuff I literally have like eight butt plugs and I don't do shit with them anymore I used to do a lot more butt stuff you know yeah I don't do I'm it not... as often either but like I don't know like the thing is it sells but it's not really like it's not as easy as we make it look you know like yeah. it's oh, difficult ever to even prep you know the night before mm -hmm. I'll talk about it. if we want to talk about that oh my god I've done um four five I don't know anal scenes with score group for like the big titty company mm -hmm. and they are very specific with their anal prep which is good because they should tell mm -hmm. you they literally tell you stop and I wrote this whole thing up on FetLife like literally how porn people prep and I also got info from a self proclaimed porn butt slut. And she told me all about the Imodium and all this shit. Mm -hmm. But literally, they were like, last meal at 5 p.m., um, have something light. And she was like, eat chicken and ramen, no vegetables, just like chicken ramen. Like, just get some broth and protein, and then that's it. And then it's like the Imodium, and then the bag enema, and then in the morning, and the other enema. And then the, you get on set, and then, the, 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 and then you go in the shower. And then the, it's like so yep. much. And you're starving. And they're like, and they literally told me to eat gummy bears. They told me that it's not just, yeah. a, they literally fucking told me to eat gummy bears. Thank you, my beautiful assistant. What? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Chris <laughs> Clark. Oh. <laughs> so this is one of the ones that I have. Yeah, so they literally told me to eat gummy bears. I don't know if every, like, it was a very extensive list. So I have a whole thing now. So whenever yeah, a girl's like, I don't know how to anal prep, I'm like, I got you. Just send them my. Oh, yeah. I like that whip. But yeah, yeah um, a lot of them do tell you to eat that. Like um, the ones that I like because I got tired of gummy bears. You know, if you do it too many times, yes. or 
We do it too often back to back. She gets so tired of it. I so they say know, yeah. do a Swedish fish or even the Welch's fruit snacks, which is actually what I lean more towards more. Oh, I, I usually go straight for that. The Welch's fruit snacks or even those like organic fruit snacks. Yes. So why mm -hmm. Swedish fish specifically? Because I love Swedish fish. Is that like the better of, is it because they're more chewy and dense and? Um, it's mainly like what they're made out of. If you think about it, they're kind of like a jello material, you know, yeah. and so that gets absorbed by your body. You don't, you don't like, yeah, you digest it, but it, you don't have to, it doesn't go through, you know, like, yeah, and it's you, sugar. Yeah, exactly. So, um, essentially you're still giving your body kind of what, not necessarily what it needs, but you're giving yourself a little boost of energy with that sugar. Um, and then, for example, with it being Welch's, you're giving yourself those natural sugars, you know? Probably um, some sort of vitamin C. Yeah, I think so, Probably too. Something in there, I bet, right? I would hope. <laughs> yeah, I would but hope. actually, some companies have actually told me that I don't need to stop eating. It's just more about what you're eating. And for you're me, the ammonium that I, if I do, like, one time I was doing my bag, we can get into it, but one time I was doing my bag enema, I was like, why isn't going, why isn't it going clear? Cause it's like the girl literally was like, do it the night before until it goes clear. And I'm like, what the, f and then I was like, oh, I didn't take a modium before I did it. And so mm -hmm. for me, I'm like whatever works for your body, like you just prep, like, and then I remember the next day, like they were filming and they're like, oh wait, we got to stop. And I was like, oh, you know, my, your worst fear to hear, right? Yeah. And then they were like, oh no, no, it's cool. It's just your intestine. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this is stuff people don't talk about, but it literally, I guess it's like mucus or whatever. They're like, oh no, no, that means you're super clean. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. oh wow. <laughs> yeah, because that was a really big dick and you know, like yeah, it's like a little green mucus yeah, that comes mucus. out almost. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I know it's the things that we like we just don't talk about because it's not sexy, you know, but the end of the day there's so much that we do behind the cameras that people don't even realize that we do for example i do offer anal custom videos but i only do them at certain times like i'll let them know hey this is the week i'm doing them i'm doing it this day and this day specifically yeah. and then i uh, obviously you'll get some that don't get the memo they'll hit me up randomly and be like oh i want i want an anal custom uh I, I want it in by tomorrow, I'll send you the rush fee and this and that. I'm like, I don't even think you fucking realize, like, first what? of all, there's no, there's no, there's no rush, rush. that's going to help me clean this out faster, no, you know? No, and I'm not going to try to do it. I'm not going to. Exactly. I'm like, uh, See, okay. That's really sad but, Sarah, but Sarah, I'm going to send you a rush fee and it today. $500. And then the thing is, they say that before you even tell them what the regular price is for it. So they're like, oh, I'll give you the rush fee. And then I tell them, look, I'm like, I'm already like, this is not an anal week for me. I'm not, I wasn't planning on doing it. If you want me to do it, this is our, this was my base rate. But because of that, it's not even a rush fee. It's an inconvenience fee, really. Cause I have to take so much time out of my day to do your video. I just had a and dinner. <laughs> oh, that's too expensive. This, this, and that. Like, I might as well go pay a girl to fuck and this. And that. Go do that, then. Go do that. Like, it's like that's funny for me. He came to you though. Exactly. I was like, you, you came to me asking for like for it specifically for me, and then when you're not getting your way, you automatically turn it back and it's like okay, I'm sorry, but I, I'm not a robot. Like these things will still need to clean themselves out. You know, even when I'm doing an anal day, like custom, like when I'm doing customs, it obviously you clean the night before. And then sometimes I do it where, you know, you get lazy. So you don't clean the night before and then you clean, and you, do it the morning of, you clean yeah. it the entire day of. Yeah. And it's like, so, a short little prep. They're short. So little that, and then makeup, and then you get hungry, and then by that time, you're like, all right, it's already at the afternoon, I'm I dizzy. started this at eight, I'm already dead, like, uh, I started filming, I just took these photos. Oh my like, god, that's me when I do photo sets, like, if I get a bunch of yeah. laundry, I, I'll, like, do it in the morning, but 
posing for hours mm -hmm. I'll set after set I'll just do it all in one day right all my yeah. life, all in one day and by the end I'm like dizzy my body hurts I'm like mm -hmm. geez, like I'm done for the day by like 4 p.m 3 p.m right you start mm -hmm. getting, if you haven't eaten yeah and then you get a little headache from all the lights oh oh my god your your eyes mm -hmm. hurt you're fucking it just you just want to turn mm -hmm. off the lights take off your lingerie and just watch a movie and a sweatshirt exactly mm -hmm. I don't really do customs for that reason because for me I just I don't like it I don't like it mm -hmm. there's not enough money to make me want to do it I don't do content I don't do anal content share for that reason I don't want to prep my whole butthole and plan my whole fucking day and all my eating around you just for you to flake because you got a paid scene, which I'm very happy you got a paid scene, but that's what happens. Exactly. So. I, I usually tell people that in general, I won't do like, because I do have my partner Ace. So, and we film together. I tell them like, I don't, there's no reason for me to be essentially giving away this scene, a premium scene, you know, like yeah. do something that I'm not saying that they don't deserve it, but it's, someone that I haven't worked with enough you know I, especially if it's someone who we haven't even worked together and he's already trying to push me to do anal and I'm like wait a minute hold on let's do just regular stuff first before we go anything crazy and sometimes that's when you notice how the, these people are like yes, lack of how you react you know their reactions to what you say it tends to be either the red flag or the green flag and I don't think these male talent know. I, like I, where I'm watching your every move. I, we, I'm noting if you offer me water at the shoot spot. Mm -hmm. I'm noting if it smells under your balls. Like I'm noting if, like we all note things. They can note things about us too. It's like we all note things about each other. And there's a basic respect. And if, for me, what I've noticed is if I don't shoot with someone quick enough. Like they'll just unfollow me and thinking I don't want to shoot with them. And I'm like, I don't shoot that much. Mm -hmm. No, I, exactly. I'm not out there shooting 10 times a test, maybe two to three. And I took all of 2022 off. Like I've taken months off of shooting at a time, just mm -hmm. selling my, my content in my vault. So like, I'm not in a rush. Like if you're in a rush, this isn't going to work. You like, <laughs> it's funny. I'll, I'll call him out. Chris K. He's like, I've been trying to shoot you since 2019. I'm just never in Vegas. right? <laughs> like, I'm exactly. You know, but he's patient. Like it'll happen. Mm -hmm. It eventually happen. <laughs> so mm -hmm. if you don't respect that for me, it's, you note the red flags. Like if they don't respect exactly. boundary, I I'm quick to be like, Oh no. Mm -hmm. Cause oh. I know someone who's hit me up three times and each time was basically contacting me as if I haven't heard of him before you know each time it's a paragraph like hey my name is so and so I do this that. let's film together and I'm like <laughs> it, it, it's the same spiel I've gotten three times I've told you like maybe different results each time one was the very first time was asking for anal and I was like no I don't I barely even do anal as it is yeah, like, for me to give that scene to you is a big deal. I'm the same way. I only have one. Exactly. One. Exactly. And it's like, you know, like you have to realize your worth. And the thing is, anal is a lot more valuable than just regular stuff, you oh, know? So much. Girls, I, I feel sad for some of the newer girls who don't know that. Like, you know, even, you know, people on like the full service side too, it's just like, they don't really understand. They're like, well, I love anal. And I'm like, I don't care that you love it. Get more money for it. Just like I mm -hmm. love cream pies. I love a good cream pie, but I deserve to get paid that cream pie rate. Mm -hmm. exactly. it's, it's so, it's so sad. Like, well, I think it's so crazy that like, it used to be like a big deal when someone did their first anal scene oh yeah and now and now and now it's like mm -hmm. uh, a new girl uh uh blah blah jane doe yeah. does yeah. anal and it's her very first scene and it's like okay then like you you killed the suspense you know like, I like i don't i don't i don't like to watch anal but i do know yeah. the profitability that comes from anal you know 
So I actually went to the speaker panel at Xbiz, the agent speaker panel. So it was Spiegler, um, Mark from ATMLA, and then Chris from Fox modeling, maybe? Probably, yeah. Yeah. And they were talking about how basically the OnlyFans wave ruined firsts and that it's not really a big thing anymore. And I still have never done a DP. And I was like, oh, I'm waiting for a company to pay that rate. And then I'm like, maybe I should just pay the male talent and own it myself. Cause I know I'm going to make hella money off of it. I've always thought that about my first gang gang too. And I'm like, I keep hearing all the companies aren't going to pay it. Like, like you should stop waiting. And it's like, well, I'm not going to do it as a content share though. Hell to the fucking no. I will release that. And you I know, you. <laughs> what, also, what also is weird too is like, and this is coming from what I hear behind the scenes, coming from a uh, perspective point of view of like, there's certain people who like only do girl, girl in the industry mm -hmm. stuff. And yeah. they get they get nominated for only girl, girl in the industry yeah. stuff. But they have their own OnlyFans, and on those platforms, they uh like they do stuff with male talent for their customs, mm -hmm. and it's like, do we still consider this person a girl girl only performer? Now, well, words, I think you should. Um, but right? no, there's there, there's some that don't. Really, because awards are all if it's a pro scene, then I I feel like you should just consider that maybe. I mean, well, the fans obviously aren't like, oh, she's a lesbian, but I understand if she just wants to choose who is fucking her pussy, like 100% and I, when exactly. I think, mm -hmm. it, I think it's the perspective of like, this person is no longer fulfilling my fantasy of not being with a male. Oh, right. I, I could see that. The ones who really love lesbians. Yeah. 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 Yep, I, I had an ex like that. He loved lesbians so much. Like, all he wanted to do was threesomes, which really fucked me up. <laughs> it's like, damn, why don't you add a guy to this threesome? Come on. Or, like, why are you both of us have some fun? Like, why am I not? Like, 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 it was always talking about, oh, imagine if another girl. And it's like, yes, I love women. I've dated a woman. I get it. I just. <laughs> like, and like, and, like, this doesn't include me because, like, because personally, I do only watch girl, girl. Like, if I watch. If I choose to watch porn, I only watch girl, girl, or girl and machine. Like I don't want to see the other person's dick. Okay. Dick I, mean, I watch gay porn. I watch gay porn. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, yeah. I know a lot of like people, and then I feel like a lot of performers watch gay porn. I love it. I mean, I love seeing dicks go in holes. So what's better than and then like a dick flying around while there's a dick in a hole and then they they can like triple top each other and they can from have you ever heard of fromage or fromage? I it have. sounds familiar. Why does it they, sound familiar? They literally come into each other's foreskin. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I've definitely seen that. Self-suck. Yep. I love watching self-suck. I used to have a self-suck fan on Chatterbait. Shout out to you. You know who you are. He would always tip me and like talk about it. I love that shit. That is so hot to me. Like, I don't know why I love watching men be so dirty to themselves. I love it. I'm like, yes. Fuck you talking, you're talking, you're talking about a dude sucking his own dick, right? Ah! Yeah, self-suck. I've never seen it, but I remember I was chilling with somebody who was where like they were they were getting people were people were tipping her because the dude needed to get hard and he was using her stream in order to get hard. So he was having her do stuff. He was telling his people to pay her to do stuff so he could keep his dick hard so he could suck his own dick. That's a lot. Oh uh, well, no, it was, it was it was just like for, for example, if I if I was doing it and like Sarah is over here, whatever, and I'm watching her, I'm like I'm like tip her because she does some some stuff that I can keep my dick hard with, and I can suck my own dick, and that's what they were doing, and I'm like, oh yeah, 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 I totally see that, yeah, like when yeah. they on set, like wait, can you just like squeeze your titties or, or something for okay, me? And I, I forget yeah. what all, I forget what all she was that doing, nice but that. but I'm me like too. I'm like. Like I I I can't I can't I can't maneuver myself to suck my own dick. That's just or they but, self fuck where they'll bend their dick like backwards and sit on it kind of. That's also really cool. Or forward. Oh, I've seen forward. that. That confuses me. Like 
Does it hurt? Must not hurt that bad. Uh, exactly. Uh, that, well, that's uh, well I'll say this. Hard a little bit. So is it bending okay. the base? Like, is it going to break your dick? So that, I will say this. Possibly. Like some. If you sit on it, some hard, some some dicks. Like if you if you're if you're if you can kick your dick straight, like because like depends on how like mm, your curvature is. Because like if your dick has a hook and it goes up, it's gonna be a lot harder to try to stick it in your butt on Wait, your own. That's true because it'll even if you bend it, it'll have the hook on top. Of yeah. That. Oh, they couldn't do it. They'd be laying on their back trying to push it down, or if they're and they'd be yes. kind of in. Like I get that. They can't do it. Yeah, yeah, that, just, that just that just sounds a lot a real painful. Things. We need these, not these. Right? I don't know. I know certain porn guys that, do you ever think about that? I'm like, I know a porn guy that curves like this. And yeah. the doctor told him he's good for anal because I don't know. I guess that's better for anal than that. Yeah. Because like, of the like, angle. Not, well, also, not, I don't know. When reverse cowgirl, I cannot do reverse cowgirl with certain dicks. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like doggy versus reverse, oh, like. It depends what angle you're hitting it from, you know. I literally we tried to do it in one of my scenes last year and it was it was reverse cowgirl and I, I love that angle because just like I have a small waist and a big butt, so it looks really good, but his dick is so hard and thick <laughs> it curves up like that. It was like it literally every time I would come up, it was like whoop, and would just pull itself out and it was like oh. I'm not gonna break your dick today. Mm-hmm. I love when it has that upward curve, but the thing is, when you have a curve, you have to fuck a certain way, you know? Like, uh, it does that, not real good, though. Like, for especially if they got that upward curve, I'd be doing this, you know, having my legs up. Like, uh, the pussy has, has to tilt. tilt. Yeah, exactly. The pussy has to tilt so they can go and, like, lean up. Roster's just looking at me like, this girl is crazy. We're imagining it. No, I'm imagining it. Because, like, I'm, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm listening because I know what I know what mine does. And, um... So are you imagining it in me? <laughs> it has been, though. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. At least you admit it. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Holy shit, it just started raining like <laughs> it was sprinkling here earlier, actually. The weatherman lied. That, that reply. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Anyways, dicks and balls and curves. They're all great. You're all great. Um mm -hmm. this and this and this all came from me saying I don't like butt plus in my butthole. Right. What is the whip? No, I, I was. I was trying to show you my the whip that like one of the whips I have here. Cause this is a flogger whip. Cause it has. That's not a whip, then. That's a flogger. Stop calling well, it whips. That's a flogger. Well, I don't know. Well, when someone yeah. calls a flogger whip, I'm like, you don't. You're not trained in. Well, this is, well this is. That's not a whip. That's a flogger. This, well, I said this is a flogger. It's like one of the things I, I have. It's a whip. It's flog, flog him with it until he learns his lesson. Okay. The I whips. Like the whips are I in there. I also like dragon tail. Yeah. He gave me he gave me this one. Ooh. So I have a one of these big floggers, whatever. And I have the whips that are in there. And oh yeah, I need to go to the dungeon. I'm I just I just I just asked him to bring one of the bring one of the things in here and he grabbed me this. So this is what I have like sometimes just scattered in my just we the best, especially if you have like tension in your glutes, like if you work out or walk too much or you're sore or you're mm -hmm. bad, like anywhere where you'll massage, it's like perfect for that. Like I love yeah. it. And it's the perfect warm up. Like I don't need to be doing fucking Florentine crazy shit. Like just fucking. Like, I know I went to that this. That warmth uh, that it brings you. Yeah. I went to this kink party before and what? I got kind of, it was in North Hollywood. And it was a glare then, or it was, a, it was it was a house party. Oh, yeah, and I love those. Claire. I told I told if, uh, if somebody you the there. Right person, it'll be fun. Like they were they were they were doing all types of shows and stuff, like in education. And yeah, like we used to. It's closed down now. We used to do education all the time. And I know, I know what I wanted them to do, like because they were they offered, and I'm like bet, but then they ran out of time because of. Another show took longer than whatever. I wanted them to uh, put uh, clothespins on me and then whip them off. I've had that done. I did that for my birthday party. I love that so much. And it's just like, 
it's different because you hear about it and you know, like some people like say that magic is the clothes fans pinching you and then getting hit with a whip hard enough that they pop off. And it's kind of like, people are like, oh my God, what? And it's just like, no, it's, 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 it feels good. Oh, that's like a Tuesday night for me. I've had needles <laughs> through my fucking pussy lips. I'm, I've been oh. purple. I've done, okay. I had an extreme masochist. I mean, scream sadist as my master. So like, to me, we did that literally at a birthday party before we rubbed frosting on each other and licked it off. Like that was like the fun game. Okay. Yeah, my, my sadist it, is, my yeah. sadist is 6%. But here's the thing, that <laughs> right there, people don't realize. So once you put the clothespins on, what's happening? The endorphins are starting to come in, right? So then you're already like a little like, <gasps> And so what happens is you get whipped. You don't even really feel it like pull or pinch off. It's just like a feeling of euphoria and pain at the same time. Because when it comes off, that's the rush. Yeah. So it's actually a really cool way to play with like human and endorphin yeah. yeah. stuff. Like I've been to like the science of pain before, like a class at threshold and it's fascinating to me i love science and biology like you literally that's why you're not supposed to just start spanking the fuck out of someone male talent okay i was i was like, right. when much? i i had a, i got i do have a whole bunch of whip of of, of not with but paddles here and i was showing people like that a pro nice. that's yeah. a proper way to hit a person's butt you're not doing this because you can break their tailbone. You're doing like you gotta have that little, a little, a little turn action. That's my whatever. pet peeve. They're on you're, your fucking like. You're you're, you're hitting. You're basically hitting their butt. butt up. You're hitting the butt yeah. up. Yeah. You're not. You're, That's you're not like, the you're target zone. Yeah, you're you're cupping the butt up. So it's like the very bottom of the butt. You're cupping yeah. it up. So you're hitting that. Yeah. You're Males not do that too. They spank there, and it's very painful. Don't do that, you guys. There's meat for a reason, like literally. And how about the spank and grab? How about a little bit of that? You don't just spank. Yes. You can spank and grab, like it's there's like, a target zone. Like Google it, please, guys. That's why. That's why with like I always do this, do this motion. Like it's like this, like that little. It's a copy. Oh, yeah, it's a cup. Uh, your cup. Yeah, yeah. your yeah, cup. You're not up. just like hitting. You're you're. Oh my you're god! You're cupping the booty hole. You're cupping the booty hole. You're cupping the butt. Like you're just cupping making the it. Booty hole. You're, 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 you're you're making it jiggle. I literally had jiggle, a really jiggle. bad content share once where he spanked me so aggressively and in such a horrible way. I didn't enjoy it, and that scene doesn't sell. And I know why it doesn't sell because my fans fucking know. They can see it in my trailer. They know what's up. They know when I'm coming. Mm -hmm. And like I actually come from penetration, so they're like, "Oh, she's that's." Mm. Nah, like I don't yeah. think, I think it, but I probably did for that. It was bad. So yeah, you guys learn how to spank, please. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. me, I did this one scene where I actually ended up getting bruised in that zone. So it was, so I can show them. Right above right your tail. Here. No. Right here. Oh. I had bruises right here. Aren't your kidneys there too? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, God. Mind you, I had just recovered from a hip injury, so I was I was already telling them like, "Hey, like, either way, this is a no go zone." But let me just let you know, this is a no go zone. You know, kink.com. It wasn't a kink scene. Right? No, it was. Um, it was definitely a small amateur company, and I don't think videos are even up anymore. Wow. <laughs> Because you know when we had to change, like they changed the law or whatever, so you had to resubmit ID. Yep. Well, I'm not gonna resubmit ID for something that I don't want to be up there. You know? Yeah, but like chatter. Kind of did it like that, like the whole like you need an S corp to be paid. That whole thing during that time. Yeah, it, it was like that that whole process or whatever. So you had to get a new ID, basically. Like if oh, someone had fired yeah well yeah. now the thing was if even if the video is for example from 2017 um if that id expired yesterday then we have to submit another id that's basically what they were that? trying that's what they were trying to do essentially and oh. so so he was uh he was getting more paperwork and so he ended up not being able to get a second round of paperwork from me so i was like sorry like my bad. 
you you went past my limits when I told you no, and then you still released the footage. So now that I have a chance to essentially take control of this, I'm going to take control of this narrative. And sorry, that's just business, baby. There's a mm -hmm. lot of stuff like that in the industry where people get butthurt and they go to Twitter and they're like, ah, da, da, and I'm just like, bro, I don't like I have a degree in business, so mm -hmm. I I'm very business oriented. So I'm like, you know what? Tell, I call porn the wild, wild west. Yeah. You don't know who the fuck is going to show up on the timeline tomorrow. And then you're like, oh, I'm never selling that again, you know, or whatever things that happen, like make your mm -hmm. money. You can. I, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Exactly. You so, never know. No. So that's kind of why I was like, you know what? Like, okay. that's I like that this new whole thing's coming then I don't know if it actually came into effect, but you know, since they were talking about it, it was like, oh shit, let's get ready. So I was like, all right, like. See, I had a company tell me to do that once and I said, no, the video was filmed, blah, blah, per the release, blah, blah. And it was, it was valid, blah, blah, blah. And they said, okay. Cause I worked in human resources for like seven mm -hmm. years before porn. So I know how paperwork works and that's accurate. You don't need to renew it. Like, exactly that's if it was valid as of the t that's why we have dates on the releases you know so if it was valid as of the time of filming and you have the proper paper like and it matches like let's say here's the only time you could fuck that up let's say you film a scene 10 years ago or five years ago and you're like let me go and try to get like an id from this person you're gonna get their new id and then their new id date is gonna be the expiration that's not gonna match their paperwork then yep. that's an issue you need to be like do you have a picture of your old id Mm-hmm. And so I have some companies do that, ask for both. Yep. Ask for like, my old one and my new one. Yeah. Or someone's like, oh, we filmed before. I have your ID. I'm like, I got a new ID. You don't want my new ID? You know? Mm -hmm. And so I just like, I always get, the, I don't care. I fill out paperwork. I don't care how many times we work together. I will fill out all my shit every single time. And I do it in paper because I'm old school. So yeah, I, have I do it. that too. Like I have like, since we do this uh, podcast right here. And we have like you know the this one this kind and the new podcast like everybody who's on there, I have to lot of people every time, and it's yep. mainly it's mainly yep. because one I give the person the content also, but also for like you know, it's everything is current so. Mm -hmm. yeah oh my gosh porn couples I don't think they realize or if they're married it's like you guys should be signing releases for each other. Just yeah. Like like I've seen a release that's like a multi-video release. You've probably signed it for someone once. Yeah. I'm a little uneasy about that. See, those only count if it's the same day, if they film multiple videos in the same day. But um, usually that multi-scene, that paperwork is from many events. It so, is. For example, if you're wearing a different outfit, they'll actually flag it sometimes and hit you up saying, hey, this doesn't look like it was filmed in the same day. And so I've had people actually submit the, essentially the timestamps of when things got filmed and be like, look, the, it was the same day. It was just filmed different times. The girl put on more makeup and changed her outfit. So she looks like it's a different day. Good for them. I mean, yeah. yeah, when I go to go, I think I upload all the releases I have with somebody when I upload a video, I'm like, I don't. I just, I don't give a, I'm like, I'm putting all the releases with it. I have their ID, but I'm like, if I film within three times, I'm just going to put all three releases because many vids can just see, I'm like, I just like to stay on their good side. Mm -hmm. you know, like, I, many yeah. X videos, I'm like, I really try to keep up with that stuff. Just, mm -hmm. you know, so they, you know, maybe treat me with more response time. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like you, you're right though about the the porn couples thing because um, yeah. Ace and I, when we first started it was you know like 2017 things were a little more lenient as far yeah. as paperwork goes. We were, you know, was, we were just doing like exactly. a few bits release, yeah. Exactly. So um, it was like before they gave us all these extra rules. Yep. So when that came up, I was like, oh shit, let me go like fill out these 20 different forms for these you videos. Know, Day. oops you know and then he was like hey like I know I know I plan to be with you forever but you never know like let's go ahead and never sign for it. I'll sign a prenup baby I don't care like right. exactly shit happens. shit happens 
So basically what we do now is have like a stack of papers that's kind of pre-filled, you know, where you have the, the yes. name. And I used to do that. And then you just add the name. Yeah. So yeah. One, yeah. You know, when, once you're actually filming or when you're done filming, you just go ahead and sign it and fill it up, uh, fill up date and that's it. Yes. Yeah, so I don't love have to worry too much about the paperwork. You just, whenever you have time, you just fill out 10 sheets. Yes. And then yeah. you're just, okay, scan it in real quick. Like I'm really good with my paperwork and it's like, okay, once mm -hmm. I scan it in, like I'm actually all caught up right now. Everything yeah. scan, everything is organized. Everything is labeled. Cause I used to be like a data manager. So I'm really into organizations. Does it feel Ooh, good? okay? Yeah. Like I like organizing a, a good hard drive, you know? Um, I love that. I'm in the progress and process of like reorganizing mine. Cause I'm changing the way that I, I have it. Yeah, because I had it, I had it by year, but the thing is, like, you That's film with people That's different worse. years, you know, so it'd if be like, person, okay, what year did I film this scene with this person? And I was like, okay, that's not really like a feasible thing if I'm planning on doing this another ten years, you know, that's not really feasible. So I'm just gonna do it by by name, and then with each name, it'll have the the videos yep. folders within each of them. Yep, I do that too, but then I separate solo and non-solo, obviously. Yeah, me too. Um, and then if I do group, like I, I've organized people's hard drives before, so I've done it two ways for myself. For groups, like what do you do? Like who's first, who's last? Sometimes I'll just create like a group folder then, and then I'll just put like yeah. either BBG and then underscore and then like, because I have a whole spreadsheet for my content. I don't know. Oh, me too. Yeah, I, my spreadsheet is my life. I literally track every day I send out like pay to views so I don't give my fans the same stuff. I hate that. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. You know, I rotate my clips very well. I go in order of release and I just circulate them through. Because what? We probably have content for you. I think I've edited a porno of you with someone else because I used to edit for some. Like, I'm pretty sure I've edited. Oh, yeah. There are lace. I'm pretty sure I edited a porno of you before. Isn't that just so funny? Yeah, I <laughs> love that. Like I was in line at the um XRCO Awards and who did I run into? It was someone else, like a pretty big, it was Jessica Ryan. I'm like, I edited a porno of you. And she's like, oh my God, I love that. I, I love her. I like those are the one time that I actually like the lines because uh, usually it's only like industry folk that's in line waiting for their badge or whatever. And so you're standing there low-key bored. You're, you're tired of your phone. You don't want to be on it all the time. And you look all snooty. And you're like, you're like, okay, well, I'm going to be in line with you for like 20, 30 minutes. Hi, talk. I'm Sarah. What's your name? Oh. So you go and you just meet the people that are next to you and then come to find out they yeah. they may be something that you were even looking for, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm, like that. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's why I met Carla Lane as well. Mm -hmm. and and Mo, like I'm pretty sure that's and it's like it's cool because then you're like oh that's what they look like it's just cool to see them in person isn't it yeah like I knew that's, that. <laughs> that's how I've actually booked my first uh foot fetish scene it was oh. actually we were in line next to each other and he was like actually I've been following you for a bit you're Sarah Lace right and oh. I was like well yeah thank you and they were like yeah, I've been wanting to shoot you, but you don't do fetish stuff. And I was like, Psh, says I don't. Yeah. I was like, just because I don't doesn't mean I won't. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed people will make assumptions, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Or if I've been following someone for a while, they're like, well, yeah. you tripped a shoe because I didn't know if you wanted to. So what I've started doing, and it is my year of uh, shoot my shot 2024. I don't give a fuck. I'm asking everyone to shoot. I'm following everybody that mm. I'm hot and successful that I want to shoot with. And guess what? I don't care if they follow me back anymore. Exactly. Huge. Because guess what? Guess what happens? So I met someone at the XRCO and they were like, oh, have you have you met so-and-so? And I was like, I don't know. And I looked, she had big ass titties. I was like, I bet I follow you though. Because I like to follow people also that look like me to see how they're filming. Like I'm very into research, right? So like I'm yeah. like, what angles are they doing for their photos? I'll like screenshot photos and save the pose. But then we go to my Twitter and I'm already following her. And it was like, don't it was just like oh, I love that. Like I already learned it. Yes, and it's flattering. Mm -hmm. It makes me 
people feel good. They know I'm not like a clout. Like I don't, I don't like, I don't care about clout. It's probably bad for my career <laughs> that I don't care. But like, I just, I don't think you need to follow with an intent or like the guys who follow with, intent to shoot with you and then it's two months and they unfollow and it's like, mm-hmm. okay. Because the thing is my, for me, my DMs are closed unless I'm following them, then they'll be able to DM me. So some people do it where, um, because aces are open, so they'll follow him and they'll message him trying to shoot their shot with me being like, oh, hey, I want to, I want to film with your girl. And then he'll usually be like, oh, we're not filming right now. We're not doing content right now, something. And then you'll see them unfollow him right away. As soon as, as soon as he's like, oh no, we're not, not right now. It's not a no, it's a not right now. And we're like, okay, I see what it is. That's how it is. I tell them, oh, I'm not mm-hmm. tested right now. Oh, I'm, I'm on my period or some shit, you know? Like, oh, I'm taking a break. I was visiting, fin- maybe I don't want to stay tested and sh- I don't need to shoot the entire month. I'm a, I have to, there's certain reasons like you, I don't need to you, you're an adult I'm an adult I don't need to be out there I'm I'm fucking turning 35 man I'm not trying to like it's too much energy right but mm-hmm. well, yeah people will be like oh she doesn't want to shoot with me like they, they they create I'm like no I'm directly telling you I'm not tested right now but I'll hit you up when I am and then mm-hmm. I put on my little list a guy I put on my little list soft blocked me and like unfollowed me. And I'm like, I know I don't post any drama. I'm like, I was like, that's weird. You asked me to shoot. Mm-hmm. Weird. Exactly. That happens a lot. So I'm like, yeah. oh. they, they're too emotional. I mean, it, I, it's just too sensitive. Like, dude, it's not that serious. I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to like brush you off. I literally. <laughs> what was that? I will tell someone it's stormy. Yeah. Oh, that's the weather. I thought it was moving the microphone. weather out here. I went no. the upstairs neighbor who had a dog. I, I literally saw the flash of the lightning outside. I love it. I'm from Michigan originally, so I love rainstorms. They Midwest? Really- okay. okay. Yeah, Michigan. I'm, no, I'm, I'm from Indiana. Oh, oh you're from Indiana. He's like Midwest. Yes. Oh, it was so funny when I filmed with Isaiah. Like he's we play because he's from Ohio, right? Yeah, Ohio. And he was like, "Oh, you're from the Midwest." And I'm like, "Corn fed." <laughs> <laughs> you know, got okay. the thickness and all that. It was so. It's a huge. It's like a running joke. Hey, look, let's take a picture of you and Trey because he's from Michigan too. Yeah. No, he's from Ohio. I'm pretty sure. No, Big Trey's from Detroit. Oh, big Trey. Yeah. 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 And so no, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah is definitely from Ohio. Yeah. And Hollywood's from Detroit too, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Well, his Twitter says like Detroit something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know him that I like well. People though. Sarah Arabic. We bonded over that. She's from Michigan too. Did oh, she's really her. cool. I met her at the convention. I think we it was in Chicago or Jersey. Because Lizzie. They blur Lizzie together was- after a while. I honestly have not been to any Exoticas. <gasps> I, I actually do recommend them. I would say if you don't like crowds, don't go to the Jersey one. That's the biggest one, but it's amazing. Mm. And I would maybe say Chicago. Well, you know, Midwestern, I love Chicago. Yeah. I used to take like, you know, weekend trips to Chicago. So I love See, that city. I've been around so long. I remember when I used to be in LA. They don't do in LA anymore though. And then they had it in Dallas one time, but they kicked us out. Well, I don't think we're meant to be in Texas. I don't even think we're meant to be. No, we're not. I don't know how we're still in Florida. <laughs> I know. Well, just well, y'all bring too much money. A lot of sex work stuff, you know. But even then, I th- this is no shade towards exotica people or anything like that. But I actually don't really recommend going to Miami one, like especially as your first one. Uh, as a performer, especially. Really? Because first of all, um, the hotel, yeah, it is attached to it. So a lot, I've known a lot of people don't even go to the actual convention itself. They're just they, shooting? They're in the building, but they're they're up filming the entire Everybody time. films at conventions, but I have like, I get scared about STI increasing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I 
I don't film usually towards the end of the weekend. I'll film on like Thursday before yeah. the event or like that Friday morning. I try to do it um, just, uh, you know, for our safety's sake. Yep. But um, the, the thing for Miami, which you have to think about it this way, is the mentality of the fans because Miami is already a vacation spot. You can go anywhere uh, and you'll see the beach, you know? There's going to be the boardwalk. There's the nude beach. There's girls in bikinis everywhere. There's a river. Exactly. The brickle, like the brickle, whatever. Yeah. But there's girls wearing their minimum outside in public, you know, like already in bikinis, already That's naked cool. at the nude beach. Yeah. So they they don't necessarily want to have to pay to go in to see girls who aren't getting naked. You know, it's it's they're in a sexualized cool. area already. Yeah, exactly. It's already overly sexualized. So Interesting. For, some, for some of them, their mentality is like, oh, there's a bunch of porn stars coming to town this week. They're going to be at the beach. They're they're like, oh, they're bound to be at the nude beach at some point, you know? So yeah. they'll go hang out at the nude beach or at the regular beach or where our hangout spots are, essentially. So, what so they can as is as Miami right now. Like it is um that's industry only, so that's a little different. The beach? I see people going to the beach. No, no, let's give me the uh, the uh, events. Yeah, I'm talking about the event itself because but don't they know X is Miami, people are gonna be going to the beach? Yeah. Yeah, there's already been essentially an incident of uh someone walking in without a wristband and stuff like that uh, i don't know exactly what happened it was posted earlier today yeah but they um they essentially they had a security situation and they're going they i guess they're addressing it and everything but uh they need to get tighter security because the only issue i it have up. this year is they opened the award show up to the public that's what i was reading about that's why i'm like yeah. oh there's an incident already and the end word hasn't even happened yet mm-hmm yeah, I went, exactly. I went last year. It was it was cool last year, but I don't mm, know what they planned. so much fun. But that was like it was still coming out of the pandemic. I feel like yeah, scared to come out and but the the thing about it is us as industry. Yes, of course, it is to mingle and network and get information. But if you think about it, for a lot of us, the ones that are not in LA or centrally located in Vegas. They don't see these porn stars. We don't see each other that often. So yeah. this expos tends to kind of be like a party week for us, you it know? Is. So we're kind of a little bit more like vulnerable, you know? We're, we're expecting security and everything to do their thing. And we sometimes end up in predicaments where we're like, uh, this should not be happening here. Like what's going on, you know? But usually it gets taken care of right away. From what I heard, they they took care of it and filed a police report and everything. So it's wow. like you have to know that the security will keep you safe, but there's just always things that happen just because of the publicity of there being an adult convention or something adult themed. Yeah, I mean, someone stole something from me and my friend at X3, and yeah, they do that. Because, like, I was out smoking weed on the balcony, um, and I, I was, like, seeing my table from the inside, and there was, like, no security upstairs, right? There was, like, no security upstairs. And um, someone stole, like, my lingerie set I had vacuum sealed, and then someone stole some cash from her cash box as well. And I, yeah. like, I told my friend, and she was like, oh, fuck no. And so she went and told the security guard, who was a woman, like, the head of security. Mm -hmm. And then he was up there, man. She was like, okay, I'm so sorry. It that was happened. ready, like. Yeah, because it was right next to the bar. It was right next to the elevator. Like, there was really, like, no security up there. I was like, they put a bunch yeah, of. The right side. Like, I feel like both of the upstairs do not get the love they deserve, but I also, but I also feel that I seen somebody get, uh, someone get grabbed at, on the bottom part. So close down upstairs, very close. And I literally had to put my table between someone. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 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 someone got grabbed at, uh, at, uh, X3 and all they said was we would keep an eye on them. Instead of removing the person. This year? This year. 
Yeah, this year. What did they do instead of remove them? They just said we'll keep our eye on them. Because the girl, the, the, the young lady who got grabbed, uh, so they grabbed her butt. Like she was po like she, I was taking her picture. You know, you know, people are you know walking by, whatever. Oh, and hell they no. just they just grabbed her, grabbed her butt. Grabbing a handful. Yeah, grabbed a handful and kept on walking. And she yelled at them, you know, rightfully so. And then like they just like they were when they were walking off, whatever, she told security they just said, We'll keep an eye on him. You see, and then they said, Is he the uh same person before? They asked that too, yeah. Like, or did you see who did it? And it's like no, no, they asked, was, was he the same person as before? Like, they seen someone else do it. They, huh? So he did it to someone else? No, they were like, I'm guessing. Probably. Or I'm, guess, someone I'm guessing it was someone else that did that did the same thing. And they were asking, was he the same person, even though they said, we'll keep an eye on him? Mm -hmm. Saying that they don't even remember. They don't who even they know who it is. Exactly. But and that's, like, that's one of, of the reasons why I say I love Exotica so much because I've seen the incidences and I've seen them get taken care of then and there, you know? Well, those have been going on way longer than other ones, right? Like, mm -hmm. X-Men really new. They're very... Yeah, is it Adult Con still but, around? What kind? Right? Adult Con. Adult Con? I think it is. I know Dom Con is this year. You should go to Dom Con! It's this, it's, it's in, like this month. It's in Texas, right? I don't know. It's in no, LA. it's in LA. It's in Los Angeles. Oh, out. when when though? When though? What? When? when? Oh, when? I don't know. Like in two it's at the end of fucking May. Oh, I won't. I won't. I won't. Uh, I probably won't be around. Oh, because you would like you could. Oh, if you like kinky stuff, I. So you like, have to be yourself with the kink. You just don't go to like public events with it, huh? So Very normal, cool. like a lot of the stuff I did, I did privately. And the event I just told you about about the uh, about the uh, the the whip like the clothespins that was like one of my first public ones I went to because like I'm like I'm adamant like with somebody that, that I know and trust with what yeah. I enjoy, yeah. but it's like doing stuff publicly. It's kind of like because like I don't like I don't trust everybody that to, to touch my body. You like, shouldn't. And the thing, mm -hmm. and the thing is, it's like since I got, and since I got injured, it's a lot riskier because I know of uh, my in like before, before, you know, before I you know injured my neck and everything, I was into doing whatever, you know, and now I gotta be more um, aware. Okay. Yeah, and so and like because the the one that she's talking about me being led around on a leash like i'm crawling and like i'm walking i'm like i'm crawling on gravel and i was okay with that yeah so you need knee pads no i was cool with it no he, he was like enjoying the pain but it's yeah. also like now he can't crawl for extended periods of time yeah knee pads but you like the pain of it I would not. I was. I was okay it's with. Not him, about right. the knees. It's about his back now. It's about know? my neck and back, back and his neck. Yeah. Because I'm, like, I'm. I'm fused. My neck is fused. Mm -hmm. So like, I have a. I have a rod in my neck. So. There must. And, I'm like. I'm always like. And like. Oh, there has. Is there a way to accommodate? You know. I'm like. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like. It's like. like it's like I know. Arms, like. Hmm, oh, like it's. Not, it's not even saying the pad thing. It's just about you know. I can only go for so long now because of you know the pain that generates the because there, there's there's pleasure pain and and um pain pain you know and I I love pleasure pain you know it's and like but fun. pain pain that like it's in my like the neck pain is that's is a different monster compared to like just getting whipped or getting paddled or getting yeah. getting get or get or getting waxed or uh or uh some other thing you know. So, yeah. yeah, no one expects you to enjoy like getting your tooth pulled just because you're a masochist. Yeah, you know, I'm a masochist, mm -hmm. but I'm not, I don't like all forms of, I don't like being caned. It just feels weird. I don't like being caned, it's too direct or something. Crops on the edge with crops, but I don't, I don't like tails. I don't like thuddy as much. I like a little more stingy. So, I, I do like single tails and I do like spanks and. I am more into stingy than thuddy. Or maybe I like thuddy now. Who knows? It's been a while. I like I should have some yeah. I should I had literally have a whole duffel of toys I could show you guys, but yeah. And 
I think I like Thuddy more than the Sting, actually. Really? But I, I think it's also because my body's sensitive. So even if my pain tolerance is high, my body will have a reaction before I do, you know? So sometimes yes. it's like that. Like, for example, the, um, what's it called? The the electric wand? I hate those shits. I hate Yeah, those. like... So mind you, like when I tried it, it was uh, connected to the spin wheel and I, I did like, it was definitely pleasurable. We, we did it on uh, my, the inside part of my knee just to test it out. Yeah. Literally as soon as it touched my skin, you, I, you see the bump start to raise like from each little like wheel turning that, like there was a whole line of bumps to? that were like, okay, that's not for me. That's not you know? That's a welt, huh? Yeah, exactly. So it left a welt on me. Even though I was like, oh, that feels good. He was like, oh, your your body's not accepting it. Yeah, I mean, we all have our own thing. Like, I'm actually mm -hmm. kind of double-jointed. Like, I'm very flexible. Okay. Uh, like, Ooh. I'm very, my sister, yeah, like, we're all flexible. I think it's called mm -hmm. first Danlo syndrome. It's kind of why I look so young, too. Like, I just, you know, yeah. thing. I'm just, I'm hyper-flexible. So mm -hmm. I can't really rope or bondage as much because oh, yeah. we'll like sub lux, I think it's what it's called, a sub lux, or like it's like a slight dislocation. It's not full, but my yeah. shit will kind of pop out. And and so it's it's not healthy. They're like, oh yeah, her arms are fine. Yes, I can flex that far, but I shouldn't stay flexed that long. Mm -hmm. And so I remember a guy told me he thought that was a challenge to accommodate me. He liked that. He was like, oh, oh, like he's a rope guy, right? He's a rope yeah. guy, like Shibari thing in his fucking living room, like rope guy, like known for rope, runs rope classes, munches, all that shit. And he was like, mm, my master, like his, his rope master. He's like, my rope master would say like, never turn down a challenge. There has to be a way. There's just certain ties then that you can, can and cannot do. Like mm -hmm. my back, that would fuck me up so bad. Yeah. So bad. Besides the nerve damage, people that don't know about nerve damage with rope, but yeah, my my joints get fucked. Yeah. So um, I have mm -hmm. to stretch before scenes. Like if my legs will just open up really far. <laughs> and that's I, awesome though, but it, it's, it's like a double edged sword for sure. You'll be missionary. It's like, whoop, it's real great, right? Especially if there's like a, a camera person. Like, I got some really great shots like that, especially if I have like heels on. Like, I love porn, but yeah, um, I love wearing heels while we're fucking having your legs up in the air with your heels still on. It was on a teacher. It was on a desk. Oh, yes. yes. I uh, had so much room to fly all my feet around. But guess what? Cam post that on of anymore against tos i know for real so much shit i can't post there anymore we're in the fans I are in the best selling scene and fans are like where's your teacher scene where's your teacher scene and i can't be like go to many vids like i'm just like, <laughs> like i don't I know. Like, they don't know how bad it is exactly for example i did an anal scene which mind you I've done worse anal you know, scenes where you've seen more gaping, but this one was like, they, they flagged it right away and they were like threatening to take my account down. And I was like, I was like, wait, but I literally have worse anal on my feed. Yeah. You know, I was, I was kind of confused. Like, all right. Times, it right? is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is what it is. But that was when I kind of decided not to do anal as much. So I was like, if I can't sell it on OnlyFans, like, what am I really going to do with it? Obviously, I have other sites and other avenues and platforms that I could put it on. But it's like, I kind of am cutting away this one avenue, you know? You know, it kind of sucks. Because then you think about that when you go to film and you almost feel like it harms your creativity, which we shouldn't be thinking that way because there are other mm -hmm. platforms, but it is where the majority of users are still. So it's like, I can't help but be like, and you know, I even think so far as, oh, you're wearing a brand. Like I'm very, uh, I think like a company. So I'm like they, a uh, Supreme, well, I'm like, you shouldn't be wearing Supreme. Like they might be okay. With, like there's certain, like assholes live forever. Of course, I'm going to put elf shit everywhere. Like, yeah. 
I got their pillowcases that say like, fuck me or love you or whatever. And I'm like, they don't care, but Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not trying to risk it. Like people, sometimes I think people are here just to fuck. And I think they forget we're here to make money for the rest of our lives off of Mm -hmm. And I want to do everything in my power to sell the shit out of this for the rest of my fucking life. So what am I going to do? Protect my, I call it CYA, cover your ass. And I learned yeah. that in America. I have a whole folder of CYA. Like I get the, I've been getting the back of people's ID since 2021. And now yeah. I'm like, I'm like, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Cause I have a I lot of like, sites. <laughs> now sites are requiring it. Like certain sites, like, um, I think, Pornhub to sell them you need the back of the ID now too so it's like oh, yeah. and then OnlyFans if they're not on OF you need the back of the ID mm-hmm. at this point for some people have been like hey just create an account <laughs> just cre- just make a creator's account and just have it be like a free page just so we can tag you like if you're filming with them over and over again for example if someone I have 10 yeah. scenes with I'm like dude I don't want to have to do this paperwork 10 times can you please just create an account even if you're not posting create the make a creator's account bam I just have to tag you and good you know are you on Fansly because that's how I feel about their I'm sorry Fansly but their paperwork requirements are ridiculous they need to Mm -hmm. have a Fansly specific release and then we need to have a picture of them holding the Fansly paper copy of the Fansly specific release and their ID and a picture of that. They don't even need the back of the ID. It's front holding release and ID. And then they don't need all that. It's yeah. Like, you know, that's now I gotta have people fill out a fucking fansly thing with all my stuff. So it's like just make an account. <laughs> and, then, and that's the thing, because also some people actually paid lawyers to create a specific model release for their company and stuff. And it ends up not being usable. And it's just like, what? Oh, that's cool. Even even Team Ski and Bang Bros have their set also. Like not Fansleys exactly, but for example, Mavids, they have that paperwork too that they added to their stack. So for example, that that 12, 15 pages you had to sign, now it's 20 pages. You know, yeah. like Yep, mine's four. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's four because I have the model release, which is all in one, and then I have the two two five seven that the union likes us to use, and yeah. then I have the Fansley release. So I just I fill out all my shit first, and then I just hand it to them, and I'm like, okay, good luck, and then I check it afterward. But I feel like, oh, this is so annoying. Four pages now, but thanks for making me feel better. Mm-hmm. Twelve to twenty, I'm like four is not exactly. Nothing. It's exactly because when they're done filming, they put all of it in like this like big like envelope, and it's just. When, when you're done, you see this like big stack of paper and you're like, what? Like, you almost look at it like, what is that? You know, it literally looks like, like student exams, like that many pages worth of stuff, you know? Have you ever had to sign someone's test printed out? Because score group does that. Yes. Literally, yeah, they'll print yeah. out test, have a sign it. They literally took a picture of us with the newspaper that day. Yeah. Like... Uh- I learned a lot shooting with them. I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, they literally told me, don't wear black on your titties. It makes your titties look small. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, don't wear black laundry. Fuck, I'll do that for kinky stuff. Fuck. Right? Oh, so if you if you wear the black lingerie, just have it have, like, dimension, essentially. Like, black against white, so it'll look fuller, you know? Against white what? Like, a white blouse or a white like for example like the bra itself would have to be black and white like you, you'd have to see right. the texture you know that that curvature would have to accentuate it if not then the the camera will kind of dull it okay noted yeah because I do like black but I also don't like fucking with the white balance and like it confuses things and I used yeah. to be bad, but I found white's okay it's black mm. like the culprit so Mm -hmm. I see girls wearing white all the time and I'm like wait we can wear white (laughs) I don't know I feel like it also depends on your skin tone because they rarely put me in white they usually put me things obviously because that's the colors I go for but they'll put me in like pastels like Mm -hmm. like pink light blue and like light purple 
but oh, it's yeah. also- bad for me. <laughs> like, like it also depends on first your skin tone and then what age range you're trying to essentially sell. Right. So since right. I'm still doing the whole teen thing, they'll go for the lighter colors, more pastels, more like colorful girly stuff. Yeah. Or once you go into the MILF category, that's when you're actually allowed to wear red. Yeah, yep. Exactly. Like, you know, you're not really allowed to wear red as a teen. So for a MILF, that's when you wear red. You That's when you get to wear black. Um, For example, like emerald green that, you know, that dark. Red. Red. I love emerald green. I look you good. You look good in emerald green. Or the purple, any jewel tone, like any yeah. jewel tone. Yep. Exactly. That's why the milfs will go more for that darker jewel tone versus teens go to that um, pastel. Yeah, so there's that. And then I'll, I'll just, I've been throwing in hot pink because I'm blonde. And I'm like, Ooh, oh, yes. Yeah, I love that. I know. So I used to hate pink. I used to hate girly stuff. I never got my nails done. I've only had two sets of acrylics. And that was in the past like two months. So oh I'm my gosh. Girl, so I'm going to get my nails done like today or tomorrow because I'm shooting. But yay. Yeah, I'm trying to be more like of a girly girl because I never really was. So it's funny. I'm totally a girly girl. I actually do my own nails. Are there tips? Extensions? Uh, yeah. Really? The white tips underneath. Yeah. So this is actually polish over it, but I did dip powder and I shape it myself and everything Someone told too. Me about that dip powder. Yeah. So basically, because I don't want to have this color for too long, instead of gel, I did regular polish polish on top of the dip powder and so whenever I'm ready to take it off I can just take it off and it'll just be French tips underneath really and it doesn't damage the underneath no because it's polished so when you take it off you just use nail polish remover instead of acetone so it won't get rid of the, the actual thickness yeah, like when I got French tips, I was like, how are they fixing that? And they're not ruining it. It's like they already cured the whatever and put whatever over it. I was like, this, I didn't know they just swiped it for a French tip. I was like, that is immaculate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Such a good skill to have. Thank you. I, I So before, like my mom wanted to be a nail tech and then gave up on it. So I was, we were, you know, when you, when you're a family, you just do each other's nails, each other's hair, stuff like that. That's how I was. Yeah. And so now, especially because of COVID, I was like, I want to go. Like, first of all, I didn't want to go. And then I couldn't go to get my nails done. I was like, nah, I'm a, I'm a girly girl. I got to keep my nails done. You right. know, so I was like buying kit after kit. I was like, I'm going to learn how to do this myself. Yes, that's the goal. That, I'm like, eventually I'm going to get sick of paying for it. Eventually I'm going to yeah. buy my little nail drill. You like drill bit it and all yeah, that. Yeah, I have it and everything. Like eventually I'll get there. Like I'll make the investment. Mm-hmm. But like whenever I get my nails done, I'm like, like you just move different, right? You're just yeah. like. I've gotten to the point where they actually look like I went and got them done. They do. Um, and they don't Obviously, they would have done clear or natural color underneath instead of white, but I don't care. That's all I had. I'm still learning. I got pink with a French tip, and I'm like, are you supposed to? What color are you supposed to? Oh, pink is neutral because I'm pink. Got it. Like, I, <laughs> I, mm-hmm. remember, I was, like, trying to figure out why he put pink, and then I was like, oh, I see what he's doing now. I, I get it. Because then when it grows out, you couldn't even tell. Like it Exactly. Was- and they actually have different colors of that. So there's uh, pink, purple, and then there is a uh, peach. Re- so do they look at your undertones? Like, like squeeze your, f- how do you, how do they figure that out? Um, like the, the good places are going to have the extra colors. And then just the average place is going to have just pink. But I, I've noticed that there's the three different ones. Peach is, for example, your skin tone since you're really light. The oh. peach, uh, I mean, the, the pink is, is a little too pink. It almost so the looks peach, a little too pink, right? Yeah, so the peach would have looked better on yours, and more yeah. natural. And yeah. then, for example, on a dark skin girl, the purple would look more natural. Yes, mm-hmm. that makes sense. The, so, I, I, did you see that viral meme that said press down on your fingernail and whatever color it turns into or something when you let go is your lipstick color you should use or something mm. like that? I was like, are they squeezing my finger and looking at the color or like? See, I've heard that one, but the better one is the color of your nipples. Yeah, mine are really light. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know if you've heard that one, but they say the color of your nipples. I, I have ghosts. The color. Yeah. The thing is, it got to the point where, like, the cosmetics companies had to do, like, press releases saying, do not show our employees your nipples. <gasps> not show them a photo of your nipples, please. You know, they, they literally have to do that. Like, That's not a nipple, I promise. <laughs> Exactly. Well, no, girls would come in being like, oh, I heard this new thing. I want to try to get this lipstick and I want it this color, you know, and they're going flash. That's and a crime. You're like, That's a crime. Yeah, exactly. We're just there like, you're, first of all, you're in public. Like, you can set okay. in the ball. There's kids around too. Also, consent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Consent. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, yeah. I, I heard that was a big thing going on. Well, then I'm not supposed to wear any because mine are like literally ghost little nipples. So what the fuck does that mean? Like they literally, guys, there's a ghost nipple Reddit and they're like, oh, you need to post on the ghost nipple. And I'm like, ghost nipple. Like, I <laughs> oh my God, that's cute. That's maybe like, you know, like the outer line might be a little darker. So maybe that's the color you should go for. Uh, there's like not even a line, girl. That shit is like. Dang. Oh <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty pale. I'm a pretty pale. Person. I guess it may may not work for everyone. I know. Because like, <laughs> I'm not like, like my nipple color is like darker than this. Because this is obviously like pink ish. You know what? Like, I bet it's the actual nipple. Because my actual nipple is a color. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's the color that it should be. Yeah. You know? Like okay, maybe actual, try that. Not the area. What I've been telling people to do is like, because obviously you can't go and show your nipple to the people, go and, you know, you can either do like a little color grading type of thing, you know, take a picture and then um, yeah. you can kind of like Google yes. art, find colors that's similar. And so you can do that or you just do it by looking, you know, and just buy, for example, five lipsticks return the one that the ones that don't look like your nipples bam before you even open it problem solved yeah you're right because yeah i'm thinking there's apps actually where you can try on lipsticks and stuff mm -hmm. makeup so exactly. you no know, and you're like oh i do not i don't look good in oranges i i need cooler mm -hmm. you know exactly isn't this so i used to use those apps to do like the the dark purple or the black lipstick because I'm too her. early to do that, but I want to, like, one time do, like, a whole emo look. I think that would be cool. You should. I have but, it on my Instagram page of me with a tamale with super dark lips. And it's fun. Yeah. You should do it. I highly encourage it. It turns out a whole different energy. It's like. Right? I feel like I would confuse people. They'd be like, oh, my God. Dumb energy. Well, you know? You got kink energy, so why not? Exactly. But I'm more of a sub like sub brat Shit. I, I i'm more submissive but when i wore that dark lipstick to that x biz pass party and i saw those pictures of me with my dark lips and i was like that's fun it's not for every event obviously it was more of like a like i was wearing like a jean jacket you know it was more of like a dark it was a night event you know yeah you gotta wear it to us, but it's fun. Just do it once and you'll see. It's like you just like it's like you permanently have the sex eyes, like <sighs> exactly. No. I'm kind of thinking to do it for kind of like Halloween, kind of make it part like of a sort of cosplay. Maybe yeah. be like a like an evil witch or a little sucky bit, something like that, to where that's the reason I'm doing a dark theme. Yeah, like, that would be cool, you know. Yeah. That's how you get inspired, right? You put on the outfit. Mm -hmm. like, that's what I did before once with a photo set. I was like wearing a black laundry set, and I was like, "Let me just." And then as soon as you put it on, you're like, "That's the vibe." Exactly. And you can take pictures before you put on the costume. You know, just yeah. have to do it yourself. That that's what I like to do, especially before conventions. Like before I'm packing up, I kind of do a little fashion show at home, like putting things together. That's Sometimes right sometimes it's stuff that you didn't even think would go together and then you look at it you're like those colors clash perfectly you know sometimes it's like those are like the exact opposite that they would look good together 
Or sometimes you're like, whoa, I didn't even realize these two colors are the same. Like I have a matching set without realizing it. Then bam, you have an outfit. Do you ever get like inspired by the outfits you see other people wear? Mm-hmm. Because I like to screenshot it and then kind of like find <laughs> something similar, kind of do like an artistic, like um, like kind of like a little extent of what they're doing, but still making it my own right yeah because like I saw this girl in like a rainbow fishnet you know there's a thousand different rainbow fishnets mm -hmm. now there used to be like one with Lake Avenue that dress we all had but now there's like so many with Sheen and all that and I was mm -hmm. I was looking at her and she had what something with white and I was like white fishnets rainbow thong and the, I'm like oh, oh I'm like getting all this inspiration mm -hmm. I was looking at my wardrobe the other day and I was like, why did I have issues finding a red carpet outfit for XRCO? Cause I have so much lingerie and see through shit. I could have put some fucking nipple fucking, I could have put pasties on and put a see through shirt on and called it a day. I have a whole pack. Exactly. Of <laughs> why didn't I, you know, like it's, that's the funny part is you can turn like very sexual clothing into like, no, this is a going out outfit like for porn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because, for example, like, I also have a bunch of mesh, like, shirts and, Love. like, body suits and stuff, but I also have, well, now I have a, like, black leather skirt, Perfect. but I have the black leather pants. Mind you, I've still, to this day, never worn those pants in public because I'm waiting for the right moment. You know, because you have to give a certain energy to wear those pants. Plus, I feel like they have to be in style, you know? Girl, you don't even know. The jacket I wore with my ex -fizz outfit this year, everyone was like, where'd you get that jacket? Whoa, where'd you get that? I bought it in fucking 2019 off Fashion Nova. Mm -hmm. I never wore it. <clears throat> it was a trench. It was almost like a um a hard mesh like trench and it was black but it was like see-through and it had a belt so I could make it fitted mm -hmm. and it had these huge big pocket it was like and I put it on my sh everyone was like Whoa, and I'm like that shit is five years old I waited for the perfect moment mm -hmm. and it sounds like something you would see in a magazine you know it was fashion and I, because I was just wearing a black bodysuit because I was just I didn't I don't like shopping for red carpet stuff I don't like dresses I'm more I'm more of like the Angela White vibe with pants. You know, she wears pants a lot and I love that. Yeah. I don't fucking like wearing dresses either. Like I like boots and fucking, like I'm a sweatpant girl. So if I don't want to wear a fucking ball gown and pleasers, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't fuck that shit. I'm sorry. I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. <laughs> Yeah. It's funny because I'm the opposite. I'm <laughs> definitely that girl. Like, I like these moments so I can dress up in a pretty dress, you know? I love you for that. How do you stand all night like that? I don't. Uh, oh, One, I used to work at a strip club. Two, I know all the methods for, like, I don't know. Partially how to walk, but also, if you're not used to it anymore, there's, like, a way to numb your feet before yeah. the event. You know, um, there's this lidocaine spray. I don't use it anymore. Or actually, I've never used it. But I've I've brought it for people who don't wear heels a lot. So basically, it numbs your feet. And then you put it in your heel, you know. And then as the time goes on, you put it on, like, keep putting it on. So your feet are essentially numb. So if they're blistering, fuck it. I'll look at it tomorrow. Yeah. 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 As, well, as, long, as, as long as it doesn't sting. If it starts stinging, I'm like, oh shit, we have a problem. I need a band-aid. Mm -hmm. That's why I bring moleskin with me. Um, usually I have I have a little bag yes. with moleskin that I bring. Yes. Um, I always tell people uh, not to wear their um, their shoes for the first time to that event. Hell no. Oh, you have to break them in, you know, like um for example the the stripper trick essentially is you put on like thick fuzzy socks or you know two or three pairs then you get the blow dryer and you you put obviously you put it on and you blow dry it so it so it actually like open up and extend so it'll be more comfortable 
I've heard you can put a bag of water in the shoe and put it in the freezer and the water will expand and stretch it as well. But I don't, I'm sure the other, your way is more reliable because you don't know how fucking big it'll expand, right? Exactly. Uh, Cause the thing is with this, you're, you're doing it according to your feet, you know, according to your feet swelling essentially. Oh, yeah. And I'm, like, yeah. I'm writing all these down mentally. I'm going to write it down. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I love corporal tricks. Because also with that, you know, the heat from the blow dryer, it'll make it so it'll crease properly, essentially, you know, and um, they say also when, when you buy shoes, the best time to do it is actually at the end of a work day. You're swollen. My mom would always mm-hmm. yep. Yeah. Ne- never buy it first thing in the morning. Well, that's like when you're shooting at 6 p.m. and then you go to put on your shoes and you're like, oh, well, yep. Use this shoe. Oops. My <laughs> you're like oh these are are coming back on yeah no I've literally done that where I'm like guess we're not wearing heels today guys or Mm -hmm. it is what it is so thank you for that one I I should have a travel blow dryer for for Mm seat for that I have a I mean hotels will have them so if you're staying at a hotel you'll you'll be fine right and airbnbs would too but I don't fucking book airbnbs I'm not trying to lose my account I am a rule (laughs) fan Yeah, well, the thing is, it's also a safety measure now, you know, it's safer to be in hotels, like, I believe it, it yes, is. Is. yes, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. people, I mean, how do you know they don't have hidden security cameras, and they're not, like, just getting off on you the whole time in the Airbnb as well, I don't like that, mm-hmm. that reminds me, when or if you ever go to a convention, do not stay at a place that has a courtyard, you know, like, not naming this specifically to downgrade them or anything but for example like the courtyard marriott has the courtyard on the inside it's not about them it's about the people who go you know the fans or attendees there'll be guys sitting there by the elevator or just standing there by the balconies watching people go in and out trying to figure out what room you're in that is so they they've done that to me luckily that time I had two um two hotel rooms mm-hmm. the the one that uh the one that they fall, tried following me into that one I was just using it to film so luckily it's not like I was spending the night there but someone literally came and knocked on our door we was and you were with someone well, I was luckily with my partner, but like we didn't, we didn't open the door because no one was supposed to come by, you know. And and room service had already come by. We already knew that, so we were like, we saw this dude looking at us. We were like, okay, it's not like we're spending the night here anyway, so let's just go into the room, whatever. And then he came and knocked on the door, and I was like, hell no! Like what? What you got? Look the angle. Fuck you! Like we never, we never know what their end goal is. But like, are you on drugs? Like, what's going on to make someone do that? They must have stalking tendencies. Yeah. Well, I I just watched that uh, Baby Reindeer show, and I'm like, that's a stalking thing. That's like a weird ass. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't do that. I actually have a stalker that had to get banned from Exotica for life because he kept, um, he just kept appearing at each convention. I'm sorry. It's okay. It is what it is. I always had my teaser. Generally, I would have my pocket knife and then I would have my partner slash bodyguard and then friends with me. So I was never alone. It was just one of those things where this guy was asking the wrong questions. Second of all, he kept appearing at the wrong places. Mm. Like, you no, know, if you have that intuition, you know what's going on. You know what's up. Well, well, also, like, if you're asking seriously personal questions that the general public's not going to ask, I know something's up with you, you know? Oh, I know. Yep. Yeah, I thought that immediately, but you, he probably... Mm-hmm. Because mind you, I, I am prior military. I'm not scared to tell people or whatever, but I don't necessarily go out and tell them what job I did where I was stationed at, how long I was stationed there. That's still safety regardless, you know? And he was was asking me all of that personal information Mm -hmm. with like, oh, uh, what MOS are you in? Um, What rank were you? What rank were you when you got out? What what rank were you when you got into the fleet? Um, When did you get into the fleet? How long were you in there? I was like, 
Whoa. He asked all these questions basically in the same breath. And I was like, okay. See, I don't feel comfortable talking about that. Yeah. Like I had already like told him like, Hey, can you please, like, you're making me uncomfortable. Please leave me alone. And then he came up and did that. And I was like, okay. Someone doesn't understand boundaries. And second of all, certain things like, I don't care who you are unless I'm dating you or unless we're really good yes. friends. I'm yeah, you should be knowing all that information. Like, yeah. Yeah. For I don't example, think Roster doesn't know the specifics of when I got stationed there, the specific time when I left either. You know, that's that, that's something where it's like, okay, you're asking me specific questions that me as a military personnel know you can go and reverse search me Hell on our yeah. data. Hell yeah. You know, like I, I knew that that those, those specific questions will will bring up something. And I was like, oh, I mean, no, I know exactly what you're asking. And I know exactly why. He's trying to narrow you down. He would sit there and scroll through that fucking list. I used to manage data, mm -hmm. right? So I, I, I already know if you pick a certain field, click this field, click that field, you got a whole spreadsheet, you got your search in the database. Like I want to find everyone who blah, blah, blah. And then I'll probably mm -hmm. sit and search every name. Like we, I know how crazy people can get. So exactly. You know? And the thing is, if you have the clearance or if you know someone that has the clearance, bam, you can find them easily. Cause I had an admin oh. job. So I was like, I was able to see people's personal information. Like, That's yeah, you know? yeah, I could look up the CEO's home address and his social where I used to work. Yeah, every page, every even though it was public, exactly, but exactly down to the penny of what they made the and everything like yeah. that. Like we had that information, so I was like, "Oh no, I'm not, I'm not giving him more ways to stalk me." No, thank you. Yeah. Oh, hey, can you look this girl up for me? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, not everyone is a rule follower like my mom did jury duty recently and she wouldn't even tell my dad what was going on with the case she's that much of a rule follower that she wouldn't tell oh her my husband. god even though I guess your husband can't testify against you if I don't know like there's a thing yeah legally yep. they can't <laughs> legally they can't be forced to testify against their partner they can still testify if they want to but yeah. they can't be forced into it yeah, but she was, she's such a rule follower. She wouldn't even tell him about the case. I thought that was so cute. I'm like, mom, you're cute. That's your husband. So when I tell her stuff, she won't even tell my dad. I'm like, she's a vault. Like, that is oh, God. I've her. still never been on jury duty. They only asked me to go on jury duty one time. And mind you, the time that they had for that date, I was already like, I was supposed to be in boot camp. So I, I got the letter and I told them right away, like, I'm sorry, there's no yeah. way I'm going to make it. Mind you, they threatened to arrest me and I was like, bet. Let me I literally told them, no. I because mind you, I had to I had the paperwork with my with my orders saying I was legally I had to be there, you know. So I was like, bet. I'm property of the government. I don't think you want exactly. To I was like, I signed my life away for four hundred thousand dollars. Okay, <laughs> I don't belong to you. I yeah. belong to the Marine Corps now. Yeah, you're property of of the government. I, I've heard about that. Like all the the different rights and all that. It's like a whole different thing. Like you guys have your own court system, don't you? Like military. yes, yeah. yeah. So no, no, no. You're their property. You you go fight with the military. See who wins. No, Speaking no. of being government property, that gives me this funny story. So I used to work at a strip club. And mind you, you know, some girls at the strip club will bring floggers or whips or whatever. So oh, they yeah. can make extra money on tips. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you know this, but you strippers, strippers were not allowed to flog military servicemen. We're not supposed to. If they come back, if they go back to their base bruised. Oh, you're hurting the property. Damaged government property. Property. Oh, it's kind of like slavery, like MS. It's kind of like you're a slave. Yeah, no, that's for sure. Yeah, I was you not... know, with a lot more benefits, of course. But yeah, you, use my nose. No, you can't. Like, yeah. no, you can't. Like, let me do it. No, mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. so funny. Because the guy can even lose his rank over it. They, wow. they actually like 
he did almost lost his time? rank because it was the second time they had already told him not to do it. And he he asked a different stripper because the original one, she was like, nah, I know you're not supposed to do it. So he asked a new girl and she did it. And everyone looked at us like we looked at each other like, uh oh, they're going to they're going to call us in the morning, which they did. Who's they? <laughs> Is it like the his command, ex essentially? Oh, my God. The people that are in charge of him would call us be like, basically, they, they give this little sigh. <sighs> Look, I know this person was up there. You don't even have to lie to me. I already noticed. But you guys know you can't be flogging them. You can't be leaving bruises or scratches. You cannot damage government property. Please, please. And then they leave it at that, you know, because it's like, what are you going to do? Because this guy is the one that's saying it, you know, he's saying, flog me with me. I'm yeah. me and if you don't know that, you don't know that. Which consent is more important, though? For some people, they would consider the human consent more important. For military people, I bet they would hear that or rule followers like I'm a rule follower. I'm like, oh, he's military. Oh, I don't want to fuck with the military. I don't want to fuck with the military. Like, I'm not trying to break rules of the military and have them come after me. No, no. Exactly. No. I saw but one guy with scratch marks on his front. What if they are like not allowed to fuck? Uh, what do you mean? Because I scratch when I fuck. Like, you don't like. Yeah, but it can't break skin and it can't leave welts. Like, so I. Like, mind you, if, if they don't see it, then who's going to know? But the thing is, you know, guys, they'll go take off their shirts and, like, in front of each other to change and stuff like that. So some, one person sees, usually everyone sees, you know? And they all start talking, like, ah. Because if you're getting flogged, usually your shoulder blades too, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Keeping, like, they keep, they're not keeping it isolated to the butt. Mm -mm. I was like, are they watching him shower or is he walking around in boxer briefs? And well, it, if you think about it, they all work out together in the mornings. Usually it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. They but all work out together, go back to the locker room, shower, and change together usually. Right. So it, it's like you kind of do end up being put in that position where you're, you're bound to see other people oh, naked, you know? And then are people so, like rats, like they'll rat people out? Mm -hmm. Well, e even if there isn't a rat, sometimes it's just the 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 higher ups, the whoever is in charge yeah. of him, worked out with him. Also, they have right. a shower too. They see it firsthand. There what? doesn't even have to be a snitch. Yeah, it's it's gonna happen. Like unless you're, because if you're showering, I'm like keep it located to the butt. But if you're showering around these people, there's no way. Exactly. You know what he'd have to do? He'd have to get his ass beat like every four days for like three months and and get like a teflon ass to where he stopped yeah. losing because that's mm -hmm. how i used to be when i was getting uh doing bottom a lot because they call it a teflon ass licking community like eventually you stop bruising but yeah he must not do it very often mm -hmm. and so every time he probably gets pretty bruised and if he's a heavy bottom i yeah i think he liked pain because he actually bef before like the first time he got in trouble, he had asked them to actually, like, let him bleed, you know? Okay. And the thing is, that Dom was like, no, this is not the environment for that, you know? Because well, he was the infected? Exactly. Like, and then, oh, sorry, boss, I, can't, I have to take days off for antibiotic. I'm going to, like, there's an infection on my chest very close mm -hmm. to my heart, and it could kill me. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. mind you this dom she is fun because even though she technically she didn't break skin the first one she didn't break skin she still left welts she sprayed him with rubbing alcohol afterwards make it sting uh, yes to make it yeah. sting yeah. kind of partially like a little punishment and second of all so she can see that there is no bleeding right because it'll drip down mm -hmm. or even then you'll feel the sting and they'll in the specific they'll place react. where there's yeah they'll react oh yeah you know you know like I always I, I'm a crazy I'm a masochist so if yeah if I cut myself I'm like ha ha, ha I just spray alcohol on it and I'm like breathing through the pain like I get off on mm -hmm. that, you know? but exactly 
so she so she did it specifically to make sure there was no welts and it kind of is cover your ass right get rid of the bed mm -hmm. exactly it definitely was covering her ass but it's also the second girl didn't know that that was a rule you know so oh, that that's the thing know that like oh let me like test that he's skipped like that's crazy mm -hmm. but the thing is like when you live or raised in a military town, you kind of already know the the kinks and quirks. And so, so for some people, it was just already common knowledge, and then for other people, it was just kind of a huge shock. Like what? All the guys government property, and it's like, yeah, yeah, they are. Like the whole client base is military. So mm -hmm. It's a military town. Yeah, like that's the place they go to have fun. Exactly. They should watch and not be touched. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah imagine if they like what happens if they catch an sti i'm just curious do they get in trouble yeah they can. yeah well because yeah. usually they'll, they'll still have because obviously you know they have free medical so they um they have to go every uh six months right. and they'll, they'll get tested uh then and there when they're doing their like regular checkup sometimes people will push it back up to a year you know sometimes they only get uh go to the go to medical once a year but they'll still get the std test done and especially every time you're moving from one base to another as part of your entry and exit you have to make sure everything's um you have everything taken care of and your std test is actually one of them are you legally allowed this is a stupid question maybe but are you legally allowed to have sex if you're in active military like on base or deployed if you're not married yeah, you can, but there also is the the old fashioned rule in adultery. Okay, so what if there's if you're, if you're married, you can't fuck anyone else, even if you're poly. Will you get kicked out of the military? Yes, you will lose all your benefits and everything. If you cheat on your wife, you get kicked out. Well, it's mm -hmm. they're paying for your wife to live right in a house. Mm -hmm. So essentially, the way the military is is. You have your base rate, which is when you get paid normally. And then we have what is what we call the BAH, which is basic uh basic allowance for housing. Right. Yes. So depending on where you're living, for example, in, if you're in California, you know rent's about to be expensive. So for example, if rent is twenty eight hundred, then they'll give you a uh your allow housing allowance of three thousand. And so for if you're living in North Carolina, because there's another base there, or even Quantico, Virginia, for example, their average housing allow or housing rate is maybe a thousand. So you're only getting twelve hundred. So if you get deployed to a state that you don't want to be in, can you say no? Like obviously you can't like choose California just to get more money, right? Like what if you have family you could you have to live in a house on the base? Like you have to live in that house. Um, technically, you're allowed to pick where you want to live. Obviously, within reason, it has to be still within a certain mileage. Hmm. But um, they kind of like do the math with you. For example, if you're living on base, they'll just go ahead and deduct it. And they know that whatever you're paying is less than whatever they're giving you. Versus when you're living out in town, they kind of help you do the math. They hold your hand a little bit. They help you do the math so they make sure they have to make sure that you can pay your rent and all your other bills and make it to work on time you can't you make know? evictions and all that kind of stuff like exactly yeah. exactly and so yeah. for example because it, it is a military town all the landlords know what they have to do if you are late on your rent by even uh, technically by even like five days you know yeah, they, that's how it is in LA. Oh, they, they can call your boss or your higher ups and be like, hey, just so you know, this person's this late on this bill. Yeah. If if you still don't want to pay it, they will actually deduct it from your paycheck. <gasps> like a garnishment. Yeah. For example, for child support, some guys, you know, some guys don't want to pay their child support. For example, if you're two months you haven't paid your child support baby mama's gonna call she's gonna say hey his kid is going hungry he hasn't paid me child support in two months they say okay bet they go to the accounting department and bam 
those garnishes are taken away. So oh, mine, yeah. they'll, they'll take that two months and then afterwards they'll actually add it on there where every single month, because you didn't want to pay her, they're going to pay her for you. Wow. I'm going to take mm -hmm. this moment really quick since we're talking about the military and stuff. Since this video does go up on Memorial Day, happy Memorial Day to everybody out there. And um, thanks everybody for their service and their sacrifice. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have flags around me. I was like looking for a flag or something. I might. <laughs> my prop kit. And actually, since it is Memorial Day and not Veterans Day, let me also bring up that, yes, a lot of us do use this time to party, but do remember that a lot of us have lost people. And that's really what Memorial Day is for, for us to to remember the people that we have lost, the servicemen we have lost, and the prisoners of war that have never been released. Yeah. That's what this is for. I've actually lost a couple people while I was in the service, so that shit always gets me, for oh, sure. Sorry. I feel like we should play taps now. Like, I was in marching band in high school, so we used to, like, always play for uh, Memorial Day, and they would do taps and, like, set off the guns and all that, and... I love that. It was amazing because I got to be like a part of it. And both my grandfathers were like in the military. So I'm like, this is cool. Like I can hear taps in the background. And mm -hmm. like, I'm, wait, I need to play some like, I have my flute too. I'm like, I we need to play some music for that. Like, I love that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Thanks for I get it. But it is like, not to go too deep, but this, it is definitely different. Like hearing it and being like, having that pride versus hearing it and being in uniform and being like, wow, I didn't expect this to happen, you know? Yeah, it's very- But I was really like, wow. It's deep. It's like you could cut the air mm -hmm. and it's so quiet. I'm getting chills in my head right now thinking about it. Like it's yeah. quiet and, and like, oh my God. Like I just, oh, that always felt so, I always felt so like prideful of that. Like not prideful, mm -hmm. but like honored, like that they would want us to do that and be there for that. Yeah. And that music, I feel like it definitely hits harder, you know? It makes my mom cry. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, I, like, yeah, me too. I, I feel like I get teary-eyed like that easily. So even if it was, um, even if it was a funeral for someone that I didn't know, sometimes just hearing taps, I'm just like. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, you yeah. Hear it, like, wow. You know what's going on. You know they got mm -hmm. that blindfolded. Exactly what's up oh man yeah so that's coming up so yeah it's happy memorial day but yeah this episode comes up comes goes out on that day that's why i thought about it okay so i'm like i don't have any flags or anything i'm like such a porn girl i'm like i need to theme it like <laughs> I don't have it's anything. okay it's funny because like yeah i may go deep and be like look memorial day is for the to remember it but i also go in on the other extent and be like you know, the kinkster in me. I have this bikini that's like camouflage. So I'll usually I'll I'll put that on or I'll put on my um my flag bikini, you know, and be like, hey, let's live it up, beach time. I love or even that. or for example, you know, sometimes you have it where during the holiday you end up on a fucking stormy day. You're like, okay, I can't go to the beach, I can't do the fun stuff I wanted to do. So I end up just being in here at home, just, I don't know. I've been like, last time I did uh, Freezy Pops, just all over my titties, looking them. Like red and blue? Yep, exactly. <laughs> just switch one. I was just like, yeah, just, you know, just dripping it everywhere. And then basically telling the camera, don't you want to lick it off me? And getting real close so you can see the droplet land, <laughs> not not directly on the camera, but right next to it. And you're like, oh. or like you almost that. like, like that. You reach out your tongue. You're like, baby, yeah. taste it. I want a freezy pop now. That's what she's on secret. Oh my God. I love that. I have American pussy pie because I played flute for nine years. So I fucked my, it was for a 4th of July contest for many vids in like Ooh. 2018. And okay. I sat on the American flag and I played the Star Spangled Banner and then I fucked myself with my flute. Damn, that's awesome. Did your flute make a little this, noise when you like- This one time what? at band camp? Exactly. You know, <laughs> no, because flute, you actually have to blow down, fun fact. So a lot of instruments, you just blow into it and it makes a noise. 
flute you blow down like if you've ever made a sound out of a bottle what do you you're blowing yeah that, that's what someone told me that it's almost like spitting into a bottle but without exactly the like that exactly yeah like that it is exactly like Ooh, like blowing into a bottle that is how you play flute yes it's it's but it um I think that's why my tongue and my my cheeks are so strong is because it like it literally it's like you have to tighten everything God. see so, I love when our hobbies help us be better kinksters you know I like I know someone so uh, whose boyfriend is like a paintball champion or something and so for paintball you have to do this it's not a trigger you kind of yes. do this yes. and she said when she found out that that's what she had to do she got so wet she was like oh do that on me she I, was like do that to me you know and I do that yes she said it was the best fingering she ever had I love being fingered, especially while they're eating my pussy. That shit is fire. Mm -hmm. That's what these but are so, for. What? Yeah, that's what his the little thing, vibrator is. The things I told you earlier, that's what they're for. Well, it's for the come hither movement. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, well, but they, but they vibrate. They all vibrate. Come I'm hither. Weird. I don't always use these fingers. I use these fingers. Those these, are. This vibrates. No, I do. I do it that is, middle, always. It, instead of, like, I don't know. Okay. People do the middle and the what? No, but I've seen people do this because they're the two longer fingers or whatever. And I'm like, I can't do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, and then because the, that way my thumb can also rub. Like, oh, the real ones know that. The real one. Oh, that is my favorite. Gotta, gotta do that motion, you know. Finger them, please. Mm -hmm. Don't just lick the clip. Please finger. I promise you'll get results. And do come hither. Mm -hmm. Nothing. <sighs> or, you know, sometimes people like, you know, you can't have your forearm there for that long or whatever. I'm like, all right, go grab a dildo or something. You know, it doesn't even have to be big. It can be just like a small one, just a little penetration while we're getting that clitoral stimulation. Sometimes I'll just put my finger at the opening. Have you ever played with just yeah. that? Yeah. That's like that. fun too. Like I love, I, okay, I'll, I'll brag. I did something the other day for a content shoot and while I did it, he started shaking. Ooh. Right? It's oh, like, I love when they shake. I'm like, yeah. When guys aren't used to, they're like, oh, oh they've seen it all, right? He start shaking and freaking out and then he's like no one has ever done that to me in my entire life and I was like because <laughs> when I shot with Isaiah he's like oh you taught me something and I couldn't figure out what the fuck I did yeah he learned because he didn't tell I didn't ask and so then I did it I think I think I figured it out yeah you're like ooh, okay that one you know it's things like I'm a multitasker from flute right like I'm used to move. yeah so I'm great at multitasking with both hands and then add them. Mm. So I got three things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like doing that, you know? You have, because like, I noticed like, like it well, when you masturbate, what do you do? You probably touch other parts of your body, right? Like your mm -hmm. butt or your pull on your sheet. There's got to be two types of stimulation. And I don't think mm -hmm. people do that a lot because oh. if they do it to people, they freak out. Exactly. <laughs> for for example, even with nipple play, you know, Please. you don't go straight for yes. that. You have to do up touch other parts, you know, even the neck right here, the shoulders the part. You have to rub other things before you go straight to it, you know. Girl, I made a guy shake years ago just licking the part, his V. His V. Oh yeah. Cause I was, it was like before the blow job and I was just teasing it. And I was like going all around. It's basically like our clit, right? Our clit goes mm -hmm. up and like, it's a thing. Like it's more than just this little button. And so same with, mm -hmm. I'll be like massaging under their, like guys don't even know what the fuck's going on in their bodies. I swear sometimes they don't know. And I just start massaging and licking and they're like, their whole mind is blown. And I'm like, I, sometimes I feel bad for people that they don't get to experience all the fun stuff we do. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because the thing is, sometimes it's also just the way that they were raised. 
that has them shying away from new experiences, even though they want to do something so bad that just the way that they were raised kind of just scares them from getting to try something new. That's why I love this job. That's why I love mm-hmm. That's why I, I will talk up and down about like, I do not kink shame anybody. Like I, t- I tweeted about P the other day and a, a fan was like, oh, I know you come from kink, but P? And I'm like, sir, excuse me. Like we, I do porn. Like I love sex. I like, some people get down on like male talent, but like their nipples played with. I don't know if you've heard feedback. Yeah. Oh, well, he needs his nipples. Weird. It's like so fucking what? He knows what feels yeah. good. I will lick the shit out of your nipple if it helps you come. I don't care. Like, I agree. Like, I'll, I'll grab my. I like t- that pinching, you know, when you pinch it. Pinch it. Oh, God. There's a couple guys. Go- like, there's certain guys, like, it's nibbling it's- on it, you know? Or they kind of doing a little bit of a. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right on the edge. Oh. You know? Just slightly just graze it with your teeth and just do a little nibble. So I got the tongue, like it's called double tonguing in uh in fan, but you're like but like like my tongue can go really oh. fast. Like, okay. So like I'll kind of vibrate their nipple. Oh, that's awesome! Like when you're about to come and they're like licking your clit like that. Like I'll do that. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't king chang, but I always say like, you know, I there's some things I just don't understand, but mm-hmm. you know, more power to you. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I say like what I say is like that's not my thing, but like I'm happy, like you're happy. I'm happy you found your king. Well, I think it's mm-hmm. more so because like one of the most, the most famous kinks is my greatest phobias and it's like feet 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 Feet. 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 i have potophobia potophobia oh i totally believe in your phobia i just don't think it's as big of a kink as no that's what i'm saying like you know it's like if you look at that i think i think it's the biggest the biggest mainstream kind of thing you know kind of like a soft core kink essentially i don't have guys coming to me asking for foot stuff I used to work foot parties. Like I don't have foot fans. I don't know about you, but like I don't really. I see a lot. I have a few. I like, have a few that it's like. I see um, a lot of people saying show feet. Booty like, and soles. Let me see your feet, yeah, or your soles, or so, show me this, show me that, and it's always like cam people, the chatterbait people, feet stuff, yeah. Feet. Oh no, 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 no! It's, it's two hundred tokens to take my socks off. My feet are cold. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I always wear socks. <laughs> But we have gone, we have gone over quite a bit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm a talker. I'm no, I'm, no, no. I was enjoying the conversation, and I'm like, oh, they, they, they. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm gonna let them just talk because we would. I talk. She's a cancer me. Yeah, like exactly. We, That's we, what we, I'm went, like, we, we went over. We went over forty going. minutes. You can edit me. It's okay. No, I, I, I don't edit anything. The only thing yeah, I might don't edit out. The, only, the only thing I might blur is when you show your when you look at your nipple earlier, I might blur just in case your nipple shows. But I'm other sorry. than no. At least I I, I, I blurred I out go. I know you both yeah, are like yeah, but I, you can't see it right there, but no, yeah, I, I screen. Yeah, I've I've blurred out a few titties before, so <laughs> it's okay. I don't I don't like I don't mind, but uh that's the only thing I might blur. So no, but thank you for coming on like there's one thing I was gonna say earlier, but y'all like the conversation kept on going, and it was about like this random, this random dick thing I have that like I like to wear. It's like it's like you put it on your on your right here, and it goes this way. Wait, oh oh yeah, the one that I tested out on you. Does it jack you off? No, no, no. You put it you like you he put it over it your head. Face. You put it right here, and the dick is coming out of oh. your mouth. And I the, saw a male talent do that, and it and the girl can just look. and the girl can just you know just ride right there. So like she can ride you in a in a another girl another girl right in front oh of you. Oh my god, he talks about ride you. I don't give a fuck. Or mm-hmm. or or if like uh, over your face, a girl can a girl can be degradation. In, you, can be, uh-huh. you, can, you can be in sixty nine. You can be in sixty nine, and she can be sucking you off while she's riding the dick at the same like this one at the same time. So you like getting your dick sucked, even though you're into degradation. Like you want to receive the pleasure while you're being. I I'm. I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. This is crazy. I like. 
I'm a, a little asexual. I don't like necessarily need it all. so like I I don't necessarily need it, but if it's if it's persuaded for me to do it or um I'm doing it so I can make a child, then yes, I'll do it. But like I'm more so of everything else. Yeah. Have you Yeah, seen so Jack Horseman? They have an asexual character on there. Like yeah, a so pretty cool. yeah, so like like it, it lets, like someone has to persuade me into it. And then I'm like, okay, I'll do it, you know? I feel you. I mean, I definitely I we can talk all day, but I'm I'm a little demisexual, asexual leaning sometimes. It depends. Makes it hard to do porn sometimes when you don't want to like fuck everybody. So Well, it, do, it does make it easier for me because like, and people, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah has joked about this um, before, but like, for me, it's kind of like people go out their way to try to see if they could break me on like when i'm recording people like yeah it's like someone someone like someone has literally like uh used their pussy lips as a uh as like a ventriloquist dummy just to make me laugh just like talking with their lips just Just trying so you to can break characters. yeah so i can just laugh or just say whatever like i i could say this out of the 16 years i've been in the industry and the stuff i recorded I've only gotten hard twice when I've recorded people. And like when it happened recently last year, the two, like one of the people, the two I recorded. It must she, have been her. Look at her it was, face. It was, it, was, it, was, it was her and it was Definitely. her and it was, it was her and Nina White. He's like, it was her and Nina White. And I'm like, my bad, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I don't even, does that happen? Does that happen? No, yeah. like, I I control okay. myself. I really I really control myself so I don't get hard or whatever. And I cleared out my brain. But like that happened that time. And the first one was like way back in 2012. Mm -hmm. And like it, it allows me it, it, like it shows that like I'm more concentrated on when I'm capturing more so, you know, of like me getting sexual, like being getting too sexual. Yeah. You yeah. When I film, like when you get in producer mode, you know yeah. how you you're not yeah. thinking about like, oh, this is hot. You're thinking, okay, the same goes great. Maybe you need to shift your hips a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's, a, it's the same thing when I do photography. This, like same thing with photography. Like, I think when I'm just when I when I just shot somebody, I've only gotten hard once from when I just shot somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, that's good though. Then you're not a creepy photographer. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, yeah. And, <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's the mindset that I go into with it, whatever. And yeah, so I'm very asexual with a lot of a lot of the stuff unless I'm persuaded and they convince me to stay in there and participate. So Okay, okay. Look at her face. She can what the fuck? She's looking away from the camera. She's hot. She's blushing. She got her hand over her face. I see that. I'm a bad influence, okay? I am a bad influence. me invite him to a dungeon almost immediately i am too like i i love bringing r.i.p logan i brought logan long to the lair all the time like i'd bring and he uh, would watch and he was actually a really good gentleman there it was very mm -hmm. he was very honest he was like oh this is different but like, i love bringing people to the dungeon for the first time like, yeah talk to you him and i did a really rough scene but he was like so nice and still gentle somehow he was rough and gentle at the same time and i was like I yeah, yeah. Was, I was like oh okay his dick was so big he didn't have to be rough yeah and I know he wouldn't give a fuck about me talking about him or anything he'd be like fuck yeah talk about it fuck yeah sell that so R.I.P. Logan loved you man you were hey, we used to go we used to go bowling with him all the time he's dope even though he wouldn't give a fuck like he literally is exactly. he'd be like sell that shit I don't care like yeah like I just I know how he is so because <laughs> for me I was tied up with my hands behind my back so I couldn't really like move or do anything so he had to like manhandle me you know he so he, he exactly it was that that gentle but firm grip he still kind of flipped me over threw me around and stuff like that where it was still like I didn't land hard or anything like that. He, you know, he he put that 
I guess you could call it force. You put some weight into it, so you so you feel like you're in subspace. You know. You know what's like, funny? What? I, this will be the last thing. I swear I can talk all day, but I know when I filmed. Shout out to Isaiah. I'll give him a shout out because when we filmed, he was all about putting that pillow under my head every fucking position. It was like I was like, wow, he's really into like female. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> after a while, your neck is like when you're done with the scene, you're like, I have a headache. Yeah. Oh, especially if I'm like on my knees trying to get them to come and I'm like, my head's up that, like, I mm -hmm. feel like this the whole time. Yes. I was like, I gotta, like, he was taking a little bit long. I was like, I gotta lean back for a second. My neck is fun. And then you're like, what did I do to get a headache? Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Anyways, well, thank you so much for uh, having me on. Um, you are great. Like this is, we went, we went way over. We I went, warned you. Like, good way. We, we, we went forty five minutes over. I warned you though, right? Yeah. <laughs> I warned people. I know myself. You got to. No, me. you are great. You're you are fantastic. Uh, um, Ky, where, where can they? Matter of fact, first off, before we leave, do you have anything coming out? Everybody should be looking forward to. Oh, man, I have been filming con like honestly no paid scenes right now because I need to get on my shit. I'm trying to get an agent this year, by the way. So Ooh. um never okay. pursued that, but I've filmed like literally 15 scenes since January and I've not released one. And I do have a lot coming out. I that's all I'm gonna say. My fans already know because I've been promoting it. Like I have so much fucking content that I'm so excited about releasing. So for me, that's my big deal. But I do want an agent, so like. We'll try that. We'll try that later. I just have okay. to make the jump. I just have to do it. Where can everybody find you? Officiallyandyray.com. It's Andy with an I. Or if you want my OF, it's fansofandy.com. If you want to spoil me, spoilandy.com. If you want my porn hub, uh, just look me up. Andy with an I, R-A-Y. I do a free porn. Yeah, nice. all my links. I and have then, domains I own because I'm crazy like that. So. And Sarah, That's where can good. you find you? And you what? guys can find me on IamSarahLace.com. All of my social medias and all my links are going to be on there. Okay, we're at BurbankWithFist.com that says everything that we do from videography. You still got uh, CW there who does uh, fitness stuff. And of course, you have all the stuff that Sarah Lace does and with her lusciousness. And um, as far as our social media stuff, Burbank Misfits, Burbank Misfits on Facebook and on the Twitter. I'm sorry, and on the X. And uh, you can find me uh, at R A W S T A R R on the X and on the Instagram. Miss Andy, thank you so much for coming on. You are a joy, a pleasure, absolutely amazing. And uh, again, if, um, everybody out there is listening, um, happy Memorial Day. If you're listening on Memorial Day, if not, you know, it's past, but you know, recognize. Thank um, you for your and, service. And we'll uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.